Hey guys, it's Christine <laughs> from Cards by Christine, and I'm just going to see if this works. <laughs> Once it works, then we're going to be like ready to rock and roll. Oh my goodness. We were sitting here. There it is. Angela's commenting. <laughs> Kathy Jackson's commenting. You guys are so patient. Thank you so much. Let's see. There it is. Woohoo. And I'm just going to see. Okay. Well, hi, everybody. It's Christine Bertram coming to you live from the hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And Kelly's here as well, my sidekick. Hello. You guys haven't met Kelly before. This is Kelly Lamb. She's my partner in crime. You on saw the... me this morning. Oh, yeah. You would have seen her this morning on the Technique Thursday. So, you guys, we had everything set up at 540. Oh. <laughs> 540. This was all good. Life was happening. Everything was hunky-dory. Hi, Angela. And at 1 minute 2... I was looking in my, I can't remember guys, I can't move really fast. Hi Randy, hi Ann, hi Linda, hi Danny. And at one minute too, I noticed that my camera underneath was doing that slow motion of my hands. Hi Mo! <laughs> I won the game against technology, <laughs> but we can't say that the game is over. The game, <laughs> the game is gonna go all night long. Oh, I'm sad to say that. I mean, it's good a good game for you guys, but not a good game with technology. Hi Jay. Hi Kathy Jackson from Iola. Linda Hodge is here. Hi Dean. So yeah. So I had to shut down everything. Make sure that the like internet three times. Three times. <laughs> Kelly just said that I did it three times. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I just need to make the transition to use ManyCam, uh, which I've paid for about three months ago. <laughs> I got it on Black Friday. And it's just one of those things that it takes time to learn something new. And when you're so busy doing everything else, it doesn't give you much time to learn what you need to do that's new. <laughs> but that's on my bucket list to do soon. <laughs> Hi, Deb Norman. Hi, Latokia. Hi, Tiami. So, Sandy's here too. Hi, Melanie. So, hi, Luann. Woohoo. So, what do we got tonight? Woo. We've got game night, but we're going to let everybody roll in. And as people are rolling in, we're going to go over some things, some happenings, what's been going on. Um, so, did you guys watch Kelly's Technique Thursday video this morning? You guys, I'm sorry. I had... My workstation set up a little shifted, so a couple times what I'm working on isn't on this frame. But oh. <laughs> oopsies. But that being said, watch the video. The cards are awesome, and so many people are saying, that's what we need. We need to make quick cards sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like We love making beautiful things. I love making beautiful things. I love sitting down and just letting the creations flow out of me, but sometimes you just need to make a quick card. So yes. the technique shows you how to make six quick cards out of one sheet of DSP with very minimal other supplies. And I will flip the camera down and we'll go over those cards really quick. But hi, Amy, Carolee's here, Julie's here, Kathy King is in the house. Hi, Jennifer. All right, so let me flip this down. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to flip yeah. it nowadays. But this is what Kelly did on Technique Thursday. Um, Mo doesn't remember her numbers. So, okay. so Mo, can you just, just face, second. can you Facebook message them I to sure her? Can. So Kelly, Mo, um, Kelly's going to Facebook message them to you. Hi, Jean. You must get your internet back, Jean Maxwell. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. Okay. So Kelly did these this morning. Oh, Jean's using her data. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't take as much data as you think. It doesn't I take do as much data as you think. Hi, Anna. And that's what Kelly just said. Hi, yeah. Roxanne. Um, so um, Kelly, Kathy said that she's halfway through your, your Technique Thursday. So <laughs> these are what Kelly did. She made six beautiful cards. And we were talking about how, you know, I like to overdo my cards. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not as much of a simple stamper, but it's nice to have quick, easy cards. Um, so Carolee Crabs said she can't find her numbers either. Okay. So Kelly will work on getting them to you, Carolee. Um, Sandy can't either, you guys. I have, Sandy. you guys, I told you to remember your numbers. Tardy, tart, not tardy, tardy, tisk, tisk, tisk. Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> um, so, um, yes, uh, Danny, you can watch the replay. Um, so, we need Sandy, Carolee, and Mo. So, let's Sounds get this good. done before we start playing. So, if you guys need the numbers, if you could please 
instead of mentioning it in the comments of this post, Facebook message me. Kelly is on my computer right now and she'll see the Facebook notification come up. Okay, so let me flip back down. We were talking about Kelly's gorgeous cards. So simple, easy cards, you guys. There's no die cut. Well, there's mm -hmm. just the label you here. Could use day, uh, you could use punches, though. Yep, you could use punches. So is the camera doing the slow thing? No, okay. <laughs> you guys, that's the, my test is to do the hand thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so she did these awesome, cool cards today. So hopefully Latokia can find her numbers. Yep, you guys will get your numbers all squared away before we get going. So that was Technique Thursday. All right, so let's set those over there. Um, <laughs> there was a number banded on the loose, maybe. <laughs> uh, so these are the four cards that we're going to make tonight. Um, Susan Reed can't add comments. I don't know. Hi, Chris Dudranke. So these are the four cards we're going to make tonight, and we'll be doing those in a little bit. So I know some of you haven't done game night with me before. And I'll go over everything. And I know some of you didn't register for game night and you're watching. And that's more than okay. That is perfectly fine. This, how I do all my videos, I do not, um, Danny needs her numbers as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how, how Sarah's here, perfect, perfect. Um, so, I do my, my classes, my game nights, everything that I do via Facebook Live, I'd love for everybody to see it. So, I don't create private groups. This Stampin' Game Night is a public group. You can get access to it. You just need to request access, and then you can see everything. So it's a public group, and I do it in this group just because it's a bigger, com larger community. So um, Latokia <laughs> needs her numbers, too. So Kelly's working on this, you guys. No problem. <laughs> so you know what, you guys? Could you do me for next time? If you guys could reach out to me the day before or the morning of game night versus during game night, that would be awesome. So much appreciated so that we're not scrambling while we're trying to do the, the live. Um, that would be awesome. So Chris is just popping in for a little bit. Carrie's here. Hi, Marianne. So you guys, if you didn't register for game night and you want to play along, you can play along. But I ask that when we do the actual games that you do not comment. Only people that have registered, there's 31 people that have registered, and those 31 people are the only people who are eligible for winning the five awesome prizes. Hi, Kay. Um, you're fine, Latoke. You guys are fine. I got to give you guys a little teasing <laughs> because I specifically wrote in emails, keep your numbers handy for the name, the game night so that you have them. <laughs> that was like a hint, hint, write them down in your notebook. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, it's fine. We'll make sure you get your numbers. Um, so it's still fun. Yes, absolutely, Jennifer. So Jennifer wrote in a post that she's got her own five numbers and she's going to play along at home and see if she wins. Um, and if she wins, she could go buy a lottery ticket. It's just that she's not eligible to win the five prizes. So everybody who registered tonight, you could either register to get one set of cards or two set of cards. And so you got a bunch of cards you guys are going to be putting together. Um, I emailed the PDF tutorial to everybody a while ago, and then I sent it again. So you should have gotten it twice. And... Um, you could have done a little stamping ahead to have your kits prepped so that all you have to do is assemble with me. I am a pretty fast assembler and I do have some of my stamping done ahead of time. So it's for me to put the cards together is a little bit faster. So my very first game night I ever did, I mailed out everything after the fact and people don't like that so much. Everybody wants kits with the event. And so ever since that, after that first one, I've been sending everything out ahead of time. And so you should have your kits. If you win prizes, I just mail those prizes separately. If you're a porch pickup person, then I have the prizes here for you. So, so your registration fee included a goodie bag, which was something I picked out some products that go along with, um, <laughs> little joke, you forgot where she put them. So you guys, just a note too, when you do register, oh, it's a, it depends, everybody registers so differently. If you register through Squarespace or email, you could look through your emails to find them. So uh, <laughs> try Speedy Gonzalez Fast, yes. <laughs> so you got your goodie bag, and your goodie bag contained, I'll flip down here so you guys can see, your goodie bag contained um, a whole roll of the Mossy Meadow braided linen trim, a whole roll of the linen thread, and you got a half a pack um, so Susan, Susan just, so Susan, you just, 
Susan Reed just commented. I don't think Susan is registered. Um, so registration for game night closed earlier this week. She said, did I have to join something to get my game? I got my kit and paid. She got her kit and paid. So what is she asking? Do I have to join something to get in the game? So, uh, yeah. So Susan... I don't know where she is. Susan Reed, we're trying to help you get into here. Uh, and give her the link for the game night to make sure she can get in there. So Susan, I don't know if you're watching in the game night or not, but we're trying to get you into there. Um, so yeah, uh, there we go. Flip back down. Did you want to check the game night Excel file too? Yep. Just to make sure one of the 31. Okay, so you guys, you got 10 of these little ladybugs. So you got a half a pack of the ladybugs and you'll use those on your card. So your goodie bag was included in your, your registration along with the four cards. And then I took a, a section or a, a part of everybody's registration, like $8, and I put it towards how many people signed up. And then I got five awesome prize packages. And we're gonna do a game and then we're gonna make a card. And then we're gonna do a game. I can't, <laughs> Linda, you don't have to keep up with me. You guys never have to keep up with me. <laughs> I go fast. <laughs> so we'll do a game, a card, game card, game card, game card, game card. So we're gonna do five games and do four cards. And at the end, we also have a few door prizes we're gonna give away. There were about 25 people that filled out the door prize form. So we're gonna do a couple door prizes. And then I'm also gonna give away three more door prizes to those people who registered and paid for game night but did not win one of the prize packages so that three more people will win. So, uh, yeah. so Sarah said she added those ladybugs to the ones that she won at a previous game night. Awesome, awesome. So, okay, Kelly, do you have a minute to help me with prizes? Absolutely. So we're gonna flip down the camera so those that are playing can see the prizes. Uh, so, uh, we have here inspired thoughts. Oh, I just lost you guys. Hang on, let me make sure I can get you back here because I watched the comments along with you so that I know what we're all saying. You guys are all, there we go. It just popped me out. So, okay, so you guys, here's one of the prizes. It's called Inspired Thoughts. This was one of my favorite bundles um, in the catalog and I was very happy because it was on the pre-order so I could get that. So Inspired Thoughts. Lots of different awesome sentiments that you can make different scenes for winter, spring, fall, or even the other last season, mm -hmm. summer. Flopping around. <laughs> so here is one of the other prizes. So these are all the new in colors. So we have the fresh freesia, the polished pink, pale papaya, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. So this is a prize in and of itself. And then we have another bundle here called the pansy patch it was also one of my favorite bundles in the suite in the new catalog because I love flowers and I love purple and I love yellow so pansies my pansies are going to be purple and yellow they remind me of my grandpa Haas and he loved pansies too so this is one of the prizes well and you're a green thumb and on my green thumb so you guys get this after two more people signed up I had some more money to play with so originally the prize was going to be a set of the new ink color ink pads but when I had a couple more people sign up at the very last minute, I added on the set of re-inkers. So this is an awesome prize right here. The inks are like $33 and these are at $4 a pop. So four times five is 20 wow, bucks. This yeah. is like the biggest prize right here. I wouldn't be surprised if this one doesn't go first. And the in colors are pretty beautiful. That's yeah. my favorite oh, of the game prizes. So the hand penned is Kelly's favorite. So what I did is I put all the dies in the front here so that you guys could see what the dies look like. So hand penned is one of the other bundles. So those are the five prize packages. So I'm going to hand these all back to Kelly though to make some room for me. All right, so does everybody have their lucky numbers? Like, let's go over this one more time just to make sure. I think Lila is watching and commenting via Messenger, too, so we have to watch her comments come through that way. Okay, so those were the prizes. Yeah, so Susan is saying it's telling her she cannot join the broadcast. So is she in the, in the Stampin' Game Night group is my question. Did and she was one of the 31, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. One of the yep. So that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So she should be able to get in. And we're just helping Susan. We're trying to get Susan in. She was a paid registrant and she's not having good luck getting into the group. So hi, Katie Schmidt. Okay. So those are the five prizes. You guys, 
I did Lucky Hand last night, and I Lucky Hand was the same cards, five sets of prizes, and the general consensus of the 11 people, or that there's actually like nine, because a couple people couldn't make it, but the general consensus last night is that people, so in the past, I've capped it at two prizes, and one thing that I brought up last night to my in-person people who did Lucky Hand um, is I said, would you guys want to cap it at two or do you want to cap it at one? So one prize, meaning that if somebody who's registered and they win and they get one of these awesome prize packages, that they're good. They can still play along and I have consolation prizes if they happen to win again, but the main prize packages would go to five unique people. So of the people who have paid and registered, if you're good with that, please give me some thumbs ups, give me some hearts. I love sharing the love amongst as many people as possible with prizes. And I would love for somebody to win two times, but with what you've, you know, with the registration, but if you win once, you've more than covered your registration. So I'm hoping that you guys, when you hear this, that you're cool with that. And if you, uh, are playing a second, like let's say you win. Oh, Randy's saying cap at one. Yes, cap at one. Okay, I think you guys are all on board with that. What I'll do is let's say Jean Maxwell wins the first prize and Jean's playing the second game and she gets it first if she wins first. Instead of, we're, we'll, she'll get a consolation prize. I've got gems and I've got some other things and then she'll win a prize, but it'll be a smaller prize and then we'll leave the bigger prizes for somebody who hasn't won yet. So you guys are good with that. Thank you. Good. Okay. Share the love. I, I completely agree. I was hoping you guys would all be on board with that. So um, cool as a cucumber. Okay. So uh, that's how we'll run that. Now, how the game works is I think that most of you have seen or watched this before. Then um, which, if you win, let win to let the person choose what which one they want. Yeah. So what we'll do is if you win two, you'll get a consolation prize for your second prize and we'll keep playing until a second winner wins. Okay, so how it works is I have, I have 25 numbers here and a hair. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I have 25 numbers here and what will happen is I'll start calling the numbers. So let's say my first number is five and you have a number five as one of your five numbers. That's when you go into your comments right here and type, you're gonna start typing, and you're gonna type an S. And once you get a second number called, you're gonna type ST. And then a third number, you're gonna type STA. By the nine, time your fourth number gets called, you're gonna type STAM. And that allows us to start watching, so that people, when you get close to the STAMP, means you have five numbers called, whoever writes in stamp first, will win the prize package. Now, let's say two people win at the same time, like on the same number. Whoever types in stamp first is gonna be the fastest fingers of wherever they are, and they're gonna be the ones that wins the prize package, but I will give a consolation prize to that second runner up so that they don't go away empty handed. I don't want anybody crying and stamping in game night <laughs> because they didn't win a prize. Because we love you all. <laughs> right? I wish I would have prizes for all of you guys, but we can't do that. So, okay. Do we have any other questions? I think questions? I'm caught up on here. Does anybody not have their numbers? <laughs> I have one other thing I need to address and I feel really bad because there's somebody that paid for tonight and could not be here. Christy cannot comment on the fee. The, so we just saw that Callum, Kay just said that Christy can't comment on the feed. So Christy, what you need to do is you need to comment in Facebook Messenger so that Kelly and I can watch your Facebook messages appear and we can watch you play that way. So Facebook and Messenger. also said she's gonna try to keep track of her numbers. Okay, perfect. So on the note that I was talking about was I have somebody that couldn't make it tonight and they were devastated that they couldn't make it and they felt bad because they paid for the game and they registered and they got their carts and it was something came up and that happens to all of us. And she asked what she, I asked her if she could have somebody watch her numbers and she couldn't find anybody. And so um, what I'm going to do, and I hope you guys are okay with this because put yourself in these shoes as well. If, if you couldn't make it and something came up, there's an emergency, you wouldn't want to lose out on your chance 
at winning prizes after you paid. So how we're gonna do this and going forward, this is gonna be my rule, is if you can't make it for whatever reason and it's a good valid reason and I believe that, then what Kelly is gonna do is watch the number. If Kelly finds that this person that's not here wins, legitimately has the numbers and they're called, they will win, but they won't get to pick a prize. They will get the last prize that's left so that it leaves it that whoever is here participating will get to pick prizes first. So that means like you guys, if you ever register for game night in the future with me and something comes up, an emergency, whatever it is, you won't lose out on your chance to win the prizes, okay? So I hope that's okay. What was that, this right here? No. Oh. Stacy says she Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't comment because I didn't get added to the game group. So, okay, so, I, so Feline is trying to get into the game group too. So Kelly's gonna, um, oh, okay. Well, Stacy. so Stacy Burns, thank you. You could watch, um, you could watch Bobby's numbers. That would be awesome. So do you want, can you send Stacy? Sure. So Stacy Burns. Stacy Burns, Kelly is gonna send you Bobby's numbers. Okay, so, okay. Um, so Feline is working, we're working on getting, so I think Feline, um, Feline can, you guys, we're trying to make sure everybody's situated and ready to go here. So doing a trial run, will this work? Yes. <laughs> so Christy, we've got comments from you coming in. Um, Feline, we're going to try to get you in as well so that you can be commenting with everybody else. So There's still no extra requests. So on that note, <laughs> are we ready to play our first game? All right, just give me one minute. Kelly needs yeah. one minute to, to get the, to rally the troops. Oh, well, Kelly's doing that, you guys. I'm going to do a little bit of, um, tell you about what we're working on tonight. Kelly needs a minute to help somebody real quick. So I'm going to flip this down. And so you guys, let's show you what we got going on here. This is what I was gonna do after the first game, but we'll do it now because I'm buying Kelly some time. But the cards here are all featuring the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and punch, which was an add-on option that you guys could get. So what I did is I went to the mini catalog and this is the Dandy Garden. I call it a super suite because there's actually two bundles in it. There's the, dra the Garden Wishes and the Dragonfly Garden. And so what I did for these cards tonight is I used the Dragonfly Stamp Set and Punch. But there's a whole bunch of other things in here. You guys got the ladybugs. You got your linen thread or your um, mossy metal braided trim. I used a bunch of the designer paper. Mm -hmm. And just to show you guys what some of this designer paper looks like. Some of it's crazy. I'll be honest with you. Like, that is my least hmm. favorite page right there, that piece right there. But the back is nice. But the back is nice, right. I like when they do that. So, and I love the dragonflies in here. So this is, it's a, a little six by six pack. And it has two inch, um, it has six by six inch pages. And there's a 48 sheet. So that's the designer paper that we used. And then, but with this suite, you guys, there's a memories and more cardstock. Um, like this, which is one of the cards we'll be making. And you can use these memories and more this pack with it and so there, there's a bunch of stuff in this suite so if you're liking the dragonfly and you hadn't seen it before it's in the mini catalog on page 25 okay kelly did i buy you i'm good okay guys thanks for entertaining me with <laughs> letting me show you stuff <laughs> so okay so you got to stacy burns i did okay perfect okay guys i think you're ready <laughs> well we should be ready <laughs> give us a hand we're ready for our first numbers to be called I promise that there are 25 numbers in here because I counted them right before. We used these for the celebration celebration. So this girl was ready for tonight with the numbers. Okay, so they may look familiar to you. Okay, so on the back side, hi Jody Crouch. On the back side of this is our dragon uh, garden fly, what is it, dragonfly wishes paper. So number 24, 24 is the first number on the price is right it is the in bloom stamp set <laughs> okay so number 24 if you have a 24 make sure to comment um num in your comments put s oh look at this we have some more stuff here with the suite that we're featuring tonight it's called dandy garden <laughs> that's the six by six paper it's the other part of that right there look at that okay number 15 and that is with the Shark Frenzy stamp set. Jean Maxwell has an S. Stacy has an S. Linda Latokio. Okay, we got lots of people on the board here. So um, 
All right, just a reminder too, to only comment if you're playing along with us tonight that you registered for the event. I would really appreciate that. Oh, Mo's got an ass too, love it. Okay guys, number 16. Oh, Feline's got an S as well. Number 16 is the next number with the pretty perennial stamp set. Danny's got an S. All right, Stacy said Bobby's got an S. Kathy's got an S. So I think the number one number in that list, I think seven. If I had to go back, I tried to figure yeah, I think out. That's about right. You guys, number, I'm not calling number seven, but number <laughs> seven was the number that everybody picked the most. Okay. Number four, Friendly Flamingo. Carrie Peterson's got an S. Ellen's got an S. Okay, number four, ST for Bobby. Wow. I could see you watching, Jody Crouch. You're my neighbor. I can see you when you come home, and I can see you <laughs> when you leave. <laughs> Doesn't that sound creepy? <laughs> you guys all, Jody's watching, and she's my next-door neighbor and a really good friend of mine. Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set, number two. All right, Two, my favorite number. Number two is the next number. Ellen's got ST. Linda's got an ST. Randy with an S. The next one, oh, you guys, here it is. Dragonfly Garden Stamp Sets, number 11. Did you mention to everyone that number? you're about 10 seconds ahead of them? Oh, yeah, you guys. Um, Kelly wanted me to remind you that I am about 10 seconds ahead of you. So... As we get going here and we start to see the STAMs come in, I'll go a little bit slower. Oh, Danny's got STA. All right, number 14 is the next number. Christy's got an S. Good job, Christy. We've got a number 14 here. So we've got 14, 15, 16. Jean Maxwell's got STA. Leslie has an S. You guys are getting on the board. What's the next number here? Sandy's got an ST. All right. Number 21 is the next number, the Woodland Wonder stamp set. Number 21, Sandy's got ST now. Angela's got ST, good job, okay. Number nine, number nine. I always wanna say like, you're into the next contestant on The Price is Right. Okay, number nine, Moe's got STA. Very, very good, all right. Look at this, guys. Number one. Hey, girlfriend. Stamp set. Susan's got an S. Yay, Susan made it in here. Yay, good job. Okay. Carrie's got an ST. So we got number nine, and then we had a number one. Oh, my goodness. Danny Olson's got S-T-A-M. Okay. Stacy's got an ST. Roxanne's got ST. Next number is 12. The Wrapped Bouquet Stamp Set, which is what I'm featuring. Oh, where are my cards? Where do I have? Oh, I have them on the table. So the Wrapped Bouquet is part of the um, <laughs> monthly class for April. And I'm looking all around. I, they're usually right next to me on my right, and I took them away. Holy Moses. Moe's got wow, S-T-A-M. got some cookers. Yeah. So 18. Christy's got S-T. Wonderful. Okay. Number 18, Jean's got ST. Deanne's on the board. Woohoo! Oh, Ellen's got STAM as well. Okay, so you guys, quite curvy. Number 18. It's the next number. Carrie's got STA. Linda's got STA. Stacy's got STA. You guys, I'm picking a lot of your good numbers here. Deanne's got ST. Okay, Jean's got STA. So the next number is 8. Oh, Stacy's got STM. There's so many of people that have STAM. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, it's going to get thick here in a minute. So number eight is the next one. See if we got it on number eight. Sweet strawberry. You guys, that punch that. is still on back order, but it should be coming off of back order soon. <laughs> and it's carrying over to the next catalog. Sarah's not skunked. Sarah has an S. Woohoo, Sarah. Hey, that could be a come from behind victory. It could be a come <laughs> from behind victory, yeah. Lila's got ST. Melanie's got STA. Kay's got ST. Okay, you guys. Number 23. Leslie's got STAM. Kathy Jackson has STAM. Number 23 is the next number. Kelly, you seen anything over there? Yeah, mm -mm. Okay, we're going to keep her going. 
Keep her moving, because <laughs> Charlie Barons would say number thirteen, guys. Is unlucky thirteen. Unlucky, unlucky thirteen is a lucky for anybody. We have here the Hydrangea Haven stamp set, you guys. <clears throat> I have some spots left. I actually would have ran out, but I made eight more. <laughs> So I still have eight open to go spots for this Hydrate to Haven class, which is coming up in a oh, two weeks. So the cards are oh so pretty. Okay, Sarah's got ST, Roxanne, STA. Kelly, we're still doing good. Mm -hmm. We got lots of S. Oh, Carol Lee's got STAM. Um, Pauline says she needs to trade in her numbers. Yeah. All right, number three, you guys. Friends are like seashells. Who's going to get it? Number three, whoever says stamp first is going to get the prize. S-T-A-M-P. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is, guys. Got to be have the fastest fingers of the south or the north here. Type that S-T-A-M-P in, guys. Woohoo! I bet you somebody's going to have it. A bunch of people had number three, so I'm... Hello? There's Ellen Brober. Ellen, let's have you type in what your numbers are so we can run through them. So, Ellen, when you have a hot second here, just list off your numbers so that I can validate them with what was here. Oh, and then Kathy Jackson's got S-T-A-M-P, too. So, Kathy, can you also comment what your numbers are? And you would be the runner-up because Ellen had it in first. So, you guys, just waiting on some numbers, and then we'll validate and we'll work on our first card. Woohoo! Woo yes, we definitely have that some was winners like sweaty here. Palms from yeah, here. <laughs> we got some winners here. I think what we'll do is do this one for the consolation prize. Okay, so I'm waiting on Ellen, waiting on Kathy. Write in your numbers, guys. Eleven people had S. Okay, Ellen. <laughs> one, three, four, twelve, and a sixteen. Good job, Ellen. All right, so okay. Ellen, congratulations. You're the first winner of a prize package. You had the fastest fingers of the South because you are down in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> so I know you saw what was out there. So what I need for you to do, oh, and Kathy Jackson, let's flip down here. Kathy had a one, a three, a four, an eight, and a 24. Yay! Kathy's a good winner too. So Kathy, what I have for you as a consolation prize, I've got a package of the copper stars here. So we'll make sure that those go out to you um, in the mail. So I'm just waiting on Ellen. Ellen, when you have a second, uh, just message us what you want. So it's between the ink pads, the blends, um, or the three bundles. So you'll just have to let us know what you want. You guys are awesome. Congratulations. It came down to that number three. You guys, so many people had it. So There were 11 people with S-T-A-M. There were 11 <laughs> people that had S-T-A-M is what Kelly said. So we were getting down to the end we're there. hot. <laughs> so, okay. So as soon as we see what Ellen wants, then we'll know what she's going to take. But we're going to go ahead and get the party started with our card making. Yes, you guys, those Co those copper stars i'm they're sad beautiful. they're they're not going to be carried over into the new catalog but they are awesome i love putting them on the tops of trees i love putting them for like fourth of july cards would be super cool they're just so pretty and i even saw somebody that took, you can use blends you could them color, color them right? you could color over the top with blends and you could also emboss heat Ooh, emboss over them brilliant. yeah somebody heat embossed and made it into a white star so Ooh. So Ellen wants one of one the of flower, flower sets. sets. So, so it's two choices. You have two choices. So I'm going to flip down and we're going to do this card first. So Ellen, you get, tell us either pansy or the hand pen. That's what you get to choose between. Okay. So you guys, we're going to start with this card first. This is one of my favorites. Kelly, could you grab the catalog up top there? Yep. yep. So I totally cased this card out of the catalog, guys. <laughs> Can't lie. Will you grab the um, April monthly cards that are over there somewhere yes. too? And you don't have a chamois. I have a chamois right here. Yep. You guys, I totally cased this card out of the catalog. And I got to show you because this, that's what the catalogs are so awesome for. Let's see how fast I can find this. So Ellen said she wants uh, the pansies. Okay. So you guys, they're, oh, right here, look at that. Boom. <laughs> totally cased it out of the catalog. I changed it up slightly. Added another layer, changed the sentiment around. But 
You guys, the Stampin' Up! catalogs are awesome to give you inspiration and ideas, and that's exactly where I got the idea for this card. I had one of my customers ask me, where did that stamp come from? Thank you. Where did that stamp come from? I was like, well, that's not a stamp. That's the embossing folder. So this is the Dandelion Wishes embossing folder. So all of you guys in your kits have a piece of, look at this, when you take it out of here, it is the coolest thing to emboss on vellum. It just, it makes the paper turn this white-ish color. It's so, so cool. So you guys should have that in your kits already. And what are you going through? Oh, you got, oh, you ripped them off the board. Ha oh, yeah. <laughs> you slip them out of the things? I have them upstairs, actually. Oh. I have three sets of cards that I keep handy, and yeah, they're upstairs because I was prepping last night. Okay. That's okay. So, you guys, I did my prep work ahead. I cut my little dragonflies out. If I refer to them as butterflies tonight, just ignore <laughs> me. <laughs> I call these guys butterflies. I know that they're not, but in my head, sometimes they. I think that they're butterflies. So, you also in your kits, now this is where you're gonna get your ribbon and embellishments from. You're gonna get them from your goodie bag. So you're gonna need to pull these out when the time comes to get them. So Luann just asked me about catalogs. They aren't in the mail, they arrived today. So I could not do expedited shipping on catalogs. They don't let me do that anymore. They don't let any demonstrator do that anymore. So they arrived today. I have them in boxes yet and I work tomorrow so I'm going to do my best. What my plan is, is anybody who signed up for the hydrangea class that has the mailing option, I will put your hydrangea cards in with your catalog, which will be about for 20 people, I think. If you're not signed up for the hydrangea class and you get a catalog, I'll mail your catalogs at the same time. So catalogs are going in the mail next week, which is a great reminder. Thank you, Luann. Um, most of the time, I know you guys, if you're my customers and have been shopping for me, I have a pretty good idea. But if I ask you if you need a catalog or not, I just... I want to make sure you're covered, and I know that sometimes you're a demonstrator, sometimes you have somebody that you work with, and if you're already getting a catalog, that makes me happy, because then you're covered. But I want to make sure that people that need catalogs have them, and I give them to free to my customers who have purchased from me in the last six months. So um, just let me know if anybody needs a catalog. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So thank you for reminding me about that, Luann. Okay, so in your kits, you guys, you will have your piece of vellum, which is already embossed. You'll have a piece of white. Um, you should have a piece of seaside spray, and apparently I don't in my kit. <laughs> so hang on, guys. It's a good thing I have paper right next to me because then I can pull out and cut myself a piece of paper. So I don't know how that happened. Oh, you know what it is? I had run out of... Um, here, I'll put that down here. Hang on, guys. I'm going to cut a little piece of seaside spray for me really quick. I think I had ran out of seaside spray when I was making my kit. I'm so sad to see that color go. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So I had run out of seaside spray and I forgot to replenish my kit here. So your seaside spray is four by five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter, and the inside mat is also four by five and a quarter. So those are in essence the same size. You guys have a little strip of white that is probably, I think it's about a half inch, and I maybe made it by three or three and a half inches. Um, so, you guys, how I did this, this might be a little bit confusing. Um, somebody were, so, so Danny said no ribbon. So, Danny, you should have a goodie bag. The goodie bag, so I'm not sure. Oh, stay, yeah, okay, yeah, you guys are replying to each other. Yeah, all your ribbon, you guys... So normally, when I gave you guys my card kits, I cut the ribbon to put it into your, your envelopes. In this case, your goodie bag was part of your registration for class, and so your goodie bag will have full-size ribbon and the trim, and that's what you'll use, and then you get to keep what's extra. So, yep, thanks for commenting, Danny, and checking the goodie bag. Okay. All right. Oh, no. Danny is wondering if you're supposed to get little dragonflies. Yes. Yeah, so now Danny was asking about the little dragonflies. So... You should have a piece of, so the designer series paper, there was a piece, so there's a six by six piece of paper, you guys, and the six by six is like this, and I cut it into fifths. So you should have a piece of paper that has a big dragonfly, and it has a whole bunch, will you go grab the envelopes off the table over mm -hmm. there? 
there's one of them has this kit in it. Kelly's gonna go show, cause I have somebody that couldn't make it last night. I'm gonna show you guys. So you should have a piece with dragonflies that you're gonna have to fussy cut yourself. So I have here, I'll show you what you guys got. Okay. In your kit, you should have gotten something that looks like this. It won't be exactly like this, but you'll have a big one and a whole kit and caboodle of little <laughs> babies. And you can use all of them or just a few of them. So just know that you guys have to fussy cut your own. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. You can hate me now or hate me later. <laughs> but I know that people hate fussy cutting. And I'm just going to show you. Here's the other one. So this was her other kit because this person got two. So this is how. So I cut a six by six down into little, pe like little pieces like that. And you guys, this dragonfly can be used anywhere. It's not intended to go on any of the cards we're designing tonight, but it could go on one of them coming up in case you don't have the stamp set. Ooh. Okay, so that's a little bonus in case you guys don't have these stamps. So let's, okay, so now you guys know where the little baby dragonflies come from. Start cutting, guys. Mm. <laughs> so, yep, yep, you can use the punch to big, yep, the big dragonfly, you can use the punch, absolutely. All right, so... What do we have here? We have our card base as eight and a half by five and a half. Simply score it at four and a quarter and burnish it with your bone folder. Okay. So the back of your vellum. So you can see on this card, the, the, the stems and the leaves are green. What you wanna do is color them. You're not gonna be able to use a water-based marker. You won't be able to use a color pencil. You really need to use an alcohol marker like the Stampin' Blends. I used the old olive. Now, if you don't do it, it's gonna be okay. Like, let's say you don't have a blend or anything to color. You could leave them the white color and they will be perfectly fine. If you don't have blends, you could use a Sharpie. You could use a green Sharpie, yep. That's what Kelly just said. So if you have a green Sharpie, or if you have the Stampin' Blends, what I would suggest doing is coloring the backside. So I'm flipping this over and I'm coloring the backside. It will look softer if you color the backside versus the front side. Uh, you will see all the lines if you color the front side. So by doing this backside, it gives it a more frosted look versus a liney, streaky look, okay? so. Just take a permanent marker and color them. Don't, you know, just try to stay in the lines. But if you do go outside, it's not going to make or break the card. And there's one right here yet. So once you're done, flip it over. And you can see that it just adds a little bit of green color to the stems. Now I'm going to do one more right over here. Okay. So you're going to need the blend or a magic marker or a Sharpie, I call them magic markers, I don't think they are anymore, but, <laughs> or a Sharpie. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is we have to get this onto our piece of seaside spray. When you glue on vellum, you can see the adhesive through the vellum. So just know that when you have these dandelion seeds here, when you put glue behind them, you can't really see it. So that was one of my things. I put a little bit of glue behind them. And then what I did is wherever this line is right here is where I put a little bit of glue right there because that's going to get covered up by the ribbon. You one night use the ink and a brush. Would that work? Mm, um, are you, is she talk, uh, Roxanne is talking about the blend. The blend... Uh, the uh, the blender pen the blender pen Roxanne are you talking about a blender pen because a blender pen would be water based I don't know if it would stay colored or if it would kind of wipe off this vellum is kind of a slippery. waxy it's slippery yeah so I don't know if you'll get the blend to keep the water based ink on there that's a good question I I don't think so um, but you might get some residual color that's left on it. Yeah, so Angela just said I spoil you guys because all of my other classes, so ink, paper, scissors, and game night, you guys get your ribbon as part of your goodie bag. So it's, an, it's a class where I don't have to make bows. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that glued down, let's put our ribbon tails behind. 
So on the card, you can see that there's a little bit of linen thread here and there's a little bit of the mossy meadow um, and a brush. A re-inker and a brush, Luann is asking. It's possible if you have a very fine brush, just know that this vellum is super slippery and waxy and so you might have it wipe off and then you might get ink everywhere. So cut yourself about five or six inches of the mossy meadow trim and then you also need some of the linen thread. And we're gonna make our tear and tape sandwich. Where did I put my tear and tape? Oh, I ran out of tear and tape. Right here. Yep, back here there's one. You betcha, right there. Look at that, you guys. A fresh new tear right, and tape. <laughs> Yay, it's always fun opening up a new tear and tape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's more fun to throw the roll away though when you're done. But I keep that, Kelly, because I put okay. it back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. So grab yourself the tear and tape or some double sided tape. And this is where I am going to make my tear and tape sandwich. And we're going to peel off that waxy part of the tear and tape. And I'm gonna put the first one down. And I'm gonna make sure it's straight and not crinkly. And that's gonna go something like this. And by putting that tear and tape on the back as prepping, I can keep my eyes on the front so I make sure it's a straight line. And then I'm gonna put this one over the top of it. Not over the top, but like above it. Terminology, guys. <laughs> and then the linen thread. I know you really don't see it, but it was just a little added extra thing because the bow on it is so cute. You couldn't have a linen thread bow without having some linen thread. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you have a whole roll of both of these things. You can put as much or as little on it as you want. So once you've got those positioned where you want them, you're gonna cover it up with another piece of tear and tape. And you can peel that waxy paper off. And we're gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on the back wherever the tear and tape isn't to help secure it. And then that's gonna go on to your card front. So the misty moonlight. You guys, I am loving on this misty moonlight. Mm -hmm. And misty moonlight with seaside, so pretty. The seaside is going away, guys. It's a retired color. I don't know, I think there's still cardstock available. I think so. Yeah, so that just goes on to our front, like that. Now, what did I stamp? Nothing on the inside, we'll stamp the inside. So here's my thing with this. I gave everybody a piece of white. It was like a half inch by something, um, probably like three inches if I have to guess, because this is about three inches. So I use a sentiment that's called love, with love and sympathy. And that comes from a set that I'm super sad. Mm -hmm is going bye-bye. It's called Itty Bitty Greetings. It's $36. It's a good investment. I'll be honest with you. It's a double set. So there's a, like I, this would come in two cases and then I put my sheets back to back and then I put them on the inside. So it <laughs> frees up a case for me and makes more room for more stamps. But that's where this love, it's right here with love and sympathy. Oh, Lila says you can't get the seaside anymore. It's gone. Oh, no. oh but you can get it in the um, in color assorted pack. Oh, yeah. You can buy the eight and a half by eleven in color assortment pack. I just placed an order for a customer today, and she could she got the multicolor pack. So then, in kindness and compassion, they're sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. This is the perfect sentiment for here. Um, oh, she got these in French. <laughs> okay. So what I did for this is. You want to make sure you save a little room for your ladybug on the side. So my sentiment was stamped in mossy meadow. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trim your side here, making sure that you save just a little room for the ladybug to go on the side. And then on the other end, all I did, guys, it's super simple. I've been doing this a lot. I've been cutting my, instead of doing like a banner end, just cut it at an angle. And that looks super cool, just like that. Now, it's right over the top of the ribbon, so I would not suggest using dimensionals. It's just gonna make it puffier. What I would do is use tear and tape on the back of this, and that tear and tape is gonna stick really nice and secure to the top of your mossy metal braided linen trim. And that's gonna go right over the top here. I wanna make sure I see a little ribbon on the, the left and a little on the right, so that's there. And our little ladybug. So it's got a hollow belly. 
<laughs> he's hungry. It's empty in the inside here. That poor little guy's got an empty stomach. So <laughs> what you have to do is put a glue dot right over the top of his belly and that's gonna help him stick to your card, okay? So my glue dot is the ex almost the exact size of the inner ring underneath if you flip it over. And so that's gonna go on the side. And then for your dragonflies, happy fussy cutting, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you should have, if you want, there's, some of you got big and small. So there was a big one, that, well, a medium one. And then there's these little teeny tiny bopper ones here. So you can put, I got for this one, I have three of them. And so I'm going to put them fluttering around, maybe something like that. You guys, you have extra, so you can put, you can put more or you can put less on. Um, and I'm not going to put them all three sitting on my, my, what I call my dead flowers, but they're dandelions, but they are really dead. I was having a little discussion with somebody in class last night. I'm like, they're dead. They're going to seed, right? But they are pretty, except for when they make weeds all up in my grass. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put my little dragonflies all flying around. They're happy. Life is good. Well, you have less grass now that you have the hive, right? Yes. I really cut <laughs> all into... All your dandelions are under the hive. Yeah. I really cut into my grass <laughs> space at my house because of building my <laughs> she shed. Okay. So, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make a bow. Stella. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Jean Maxwell is on, on par here. Yes. Grab your Stella pen. This is the most beautiful thing to Stella are your dandelions here. They are exquisite when you get them all shimmery and bedazzled. Yes, definitely Stella the dandelions. They're wishes. Yes, Angela. Oh. Yes, you take it and you blow it and you make a wish upon a dandelion. Yep, <laughs> I was going to say a star, but yes, a dandelion. Okay. Oh, I got my bow made already, guys. Okay, so I get out of making a bow. <laughs> uh, if you don't know how to make a bow, if you don't know how to make a bow, a Kelly said that I did a really good tip Tuesday on how to make a bow. You just go over the cards by Christine page, and you search bow maker, and you guys can watch me for twenty five minutes making a bow, <laughs> like in numerous different ways with different things going on. Okay, what else do we have to do? I think that that, oh, the inside, hang on. We're not quite done with this one. We're gonna make an inside because I didn't stamp my inside. So we need to get a block and the ink. So you guys, you know, if you don't like the way if your stamp doesn't fit so good that way, you can put it on a block diagonally and that will be perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do is use Mossy Meadow for the sentiments or I should say the sentiment, sending comforting, comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss, boom. And then we're gonna put a dragonfly right over the top and I'm gonna use Seaside Spray. And if you can see here how I did mine, I got it right over the top of it. It's look, so I like to put things down in the bottom corner, but for this one it looks super cool over the, the lettering or under over the words. So that dragonfly is here. Now, I do have it at second string. So, I'm just scratch paper here. We're gonna stamp, stamp off, and then put it right over the top of it. And it's very faint, but you can see that there's a shadow of a dragonfly back there. Now, if you want it a little darker, you can do that. Just definitely go right to it at first string. Okay, so that was Seaside. You could have also used Misty Moonlight at second strength as well. Okay, Kelly, you want us to clean some stamps? Absolutely. Okay, here's one. Here's two. All right, now we just have to glue this guy in the inside. And we got our first card done. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this will be somebody's prize next week. Yeah, it's different. I generally put my little accent stamps in the bottom corners, but this one, it's flying through the sentiment, so. Okay. And if you had extra little butterfly, or <laughs> dragonflies, you could put them on the inside. Yeah, with that. absolutely. So Kelly, you guys, I don't know if you just caught that, but Kelly said that if you have from your piece of paper, extra dragonflies, you could actually glue them on the inside as well. So 
So this is the embossing folder that was used. Now I'm pretty sure that's carrying over to the new annual catalog if I, so. if I am not mistaken. So there we go. As Kelly would say, voila, <laughs> we've got one done and now we're on to games. Do you guys like that one? <laughs> All right, let's see here what we've got. So if we can figure out a next winner, winner chicken dinner. Are you guys ready for some games? So, as a reminder, if you don't have your card done, it's okay. <laughs> you can always refer back to this video. It will be saved in the Cards by Christine page. It'll be saved in the Stampin' Game Night. And you guys also have a PDF tutorial with pictures and step-by-step -step instructions with my with my with how I do it so all right are you guys give me some thumbs ups if you're ready to move forward we're back at it we're back at it we got games to win I mean prizes to win and games to play all right number one Woohoo! number one hey girlfriend hey girlfriend stamp set is number one all right, let's see what's behind this number, do this doggy. All right, you guys, the dog says, number 11, dragonfly garden stamp set. We just used that butterfly. <laughs> dragonfly, told you. So I, at the end of class last night, I had everybody saying butterfly and they, we really meant dragonfly. Okay, lots of hearts stamp set, number seven. Oh my gosh, we got lots of S's here already. Leslie and Ellen. Perfect. So lots of heart. Number seven. Christy has an S. Christy has an S. Woohoo. All right. Let's see what we got here behind our little bunnies. Number 13, the Hydrangea Haven. Lila's got an S too. You guys, Kelly went and grabbed these off the board. So number 13 is the next number, but I am prepping for this class right now. So we've got, this is a fun fold. Christy's got ST. I've got that one, that one, and that. So four amazing cards. The only stamps you need are sentiments, sentiments, <laughs> sentiments, sentiments, and potentially something to do with your leaf here. You're going to get it white. You could sponge it green if you don't have the hydrangea set. I did this not even realizing I hardly used any of the hydrangea stamps, but the stamps for the hydrangea will go on the inside. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I didn't <laughs> get it there. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, so. The hydrangea class is going to be awesome, and I think I cut for eight more people. So if you're not signed up and you want to, free with an order, $40 order. Number 25, oh, snap. These poor little fish are going to be eaten by this tasty, hungry alligator. <laughs> All right, number 25. Number, we got STs, holy Moses, Carol Lee, Linda, Susan, Randy, and Sarah. Wrapped bouquet, number 12. All right, so Kelly went and did me a favor. She ran and got that card for me too. The April monthly class, we're gonna be making this card next week. And this uses the wrapped bouquet. So if you need a Mother's Day card, a friend card, a happy birthday card, this is wrapped bouquet. That wrapped bouquet has grown on me. Good. I didn't like it at first. <laughs> yeah, I love the leaves. The, these little die cut, you guys will all get your leaves die cut already. And this little wrapping, this paper down here is super cool. So look at that. We got Christy with an STA. Woohoo! I think she's in the lead right now. Ellen's got ST. I saw a couple STAs come through. Number six, Springtime Joy. We used that set in is February. Lamb? It's a widow baby lamb. Kelly yeah, loves Kelly, lo lambs. Kelly loves lambs. You guys know that. Kelly's last name is Lamb. So when she comments, sometimes she will put... Uh, a little lamb. Emoji. <laughs> Emoji. Yep. <laughs> All right. We got lots of STs. Linda, Pat, Carrie. Next number, you guys, the Garden Wishes stamp set. Number 220 is the next number. Oh, Bobby's got an S. Thanks so much, Stacy, for helping out for Bobby. We appreciate that. Look at Pat's got STA. Next one. Oh, Feline's got an S. Kangaroo and Company. Oh my goodness. You guys have got the in color class coming up in a couple weeks and I couldn't get enough of this little kangaroo. So number 19 is the kangaroo. He is a Dorbsy or she is. He is. They are. They're all good. Lila's got STA. Um, so K, what was the next, the last number? Um, she got six. And I think what the last one before was 20, right? I think we had 20 and then we had 19. We've got 12. So in case you're wondering, Kay, we've got 1, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 19, 20, and 25. 
Linda's got STA. Kay's got us. Woohoo. Linda's got STA. Pat's got STA. Next number, you guys. One of my favorite sentiments in the mini catalog is called Happy Thoughts. It is number 10. Number 10, happy thoughts. I just want to send some happy thoughts your way. You guys know I love to do that. The one before six is a one. So, K, okay, the one before six. One, this is one. I don't know if that's what you mean by the one before six. <laughs> um, so, did you just see the message from I Deanne, did. Brenda? So, Deanne, Brenda, what is trying to get in, I think? I don't know if we need to let her in. Faye's got STA. Are you good to check that, Kelly? Yep, we okay. Got it. Kelly's on it, guys. All right. Hey, birthday chick. Oh my gosh. Randy has STAM. So, you guys, if you're wondering what's happening for the next game night, hey, birthday chick is what I'm going to feature. And I might have mentioned this already, but the next game night is going to have four cards, and we're going to use the hey, birthday chick and the hey, chick mm -hmm. stamp set. So, number 23 is that number right here. All right. Sandy, I don't know what 12 means. The one before six is 12. Okay, maybe that's what you're looking for, Kay. Number 12 was called. Okay, the dies for this are awesome, you guys. So just know that I'm gonna be doing a lot of die cutting mm -hmm. for the next game night. You're gonna have all these cutesy little things for cards. So if you're not into chickens, get you have time to get into the chickens. <laughs> Because you're not going to want to miss game night. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Okay. So we got Deanne and Roxanne with ST. Kay, are you good? Kay, if you need help with the numbers and you want me to read them off again, just tell me that's what you want to do. Um, I'm not sure if uh, the 12 with, uh, with Sandy saying that is what you needed. Okay. Kay's got a thumbs up. Good. Friends are like seashells. Number Ooh. three. Oh, oh my that gosh. Was the that was last the winner time. last time. So... Oh, we'll get that number out of the way. <laughs> All right. Number three is the next number here. All right. Let's pick this one right here. Okay. You guys, I haven't, I haven't, oh, look at Christy's got S-T-A-M. Yeah. Woohoo, Christy, you're rocking it. Number 22 is Simply Succulents. So Kelly is loving the succulent. She did a bunch of Technique Thursdays with it. I think two in a row. Guilty. Guilty, yep. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Simply Succulents, number 22. Hi, Sue. Oh, Latokia's got S-T-A-M as well. Christy just commented stamp. Oh, did Christy just comment stamp? Let's see here really quick, you guys. Christy's playing along. Oh, she did. So Christy, I can see that you wrote stamp. Right here, you guys, are. we're watching Christy. She couldn't get into the game night. So, Christy, if you could comment um, in my Facebook messages what your numbers are so we can confirm them, that would be good. I will be watching a, um, I'll be watching for your number. Oh, yep, she wrote yes, and she's going to just tell us really quickly what her numbers are. And as she does that, I'm going to pull out the next card for prepping here. So we're going to be doing this one and this one. Okay, so she's typing right now, you guys. I can see the bubbles. <laughs> the little dots. They're not bubbles. They're little dots. So she's got a three, a seven, 11, 12, and 22. Woohoo! Good All job. Right. What do we want? All right, Christy, you just got to tell me what you want. We'll be watching for your comments to come through. And what's left? The only thing, what did Ellen took the pansies, right? Correct. Okay, so Ellen took the pansies, which leaves everything else <laughs> <laughs> the hand penned, the markers, the blends. And the inspired something. <laughs> inspired inspired thoughts. thoughts. Also, I missed the prizes. So if you could let me know. I just said what they were, Christy. Hopefully you just caught that. Um, oh, she... So if she's not... I know she's not part of the game night group. So does that mean she's not watching? How is she... Ta she's got to be watching somehow. It's okay. Well, because we shared it to Cards by Christine. Oh, she's VIP watching it. So she's watching it on the Cards by Crit. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're going to watch and see what Christy wants. And as we see it come in, we'll tell you guys what she picked. But we'll go ahead and get working on the next card, though. You guys, oh, I love Blackberry Bliss with Mossy Meadow. So this is one of my favorite color combinations right here. So pretty. And hi, Anna Rebidi is watching. So we've got our traditional base here, 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 
four and a quarter. Grab your bone folder, burnish it. Yes, I'm part. Oh, she said she's part of the group. Okay, let's see what she says here really quick. Um, yes, I'll take the stamp set. Which one? <laughs> Do you want to show her? Maybe she doesn't Oh, you guys. We try. We try to make everybody, we try to accommodate everything. So, so Christy, when you have a second, just tell us if you want the Inspired Thoughts or the Hand Penned Petals. Hi, Sarah Wagner. All right, you guys. So we're going to work on this bad boy right here. All right. So in your kits, you have your piece of Blackberry Bliss. You have two pieces that are four by five and a quarter, your traditional mat. One is for your inside and one is for your outside. The mossy metal will go here, and then that one will go inside. You'll have a piece of white, which is three and 13 sixteenths by something, five and five and a sixteenth, I think, is how that works. Then you, I've already die cut. So um, some of you will get the pattern paper. Inspired thoughts. Oh, she wants inspired thoughts. We just I heard. I love it. Christy just said, oh, you guys missed it. Christy said inspired thoughts. So I'll do a screenshot real quick here. This is what Christy just picked. So that's going to Christy. Congratulations. Woohoo. So some of you guys will have got, so there's two different patterns of paper that look very similar. One is shrunken, it looks like. And one is like, one is like honey, I shrunk the kids. And the other one's like big jumbo one. <laughs> so you either got a sheet that looks like this or a sheet that's smaller. So just know that that's how that worked. So if yours doesn't look like this, it's okay. And maybe Kelly will go grab my samples in the box over there. There's a sure. box that has the big one so that people can see. So you'll have a piece that is um, die cut already. So I use the quite curvy. So this will fit really nicely. So when I cut your paper, I literally put these together like this. And I die cut. Here you go. So you guys can see what the difference is. So one is smaller print and one's a little bit bigger print. They look pretty. They're both really pretty. So either you got one or the other. Um, so for this one though, what I did is I took your paper and I cut these at the same time. So that ensured me that the curve was the same. And while we're working on this, I'm gonna have Kelly poke out the little <laughs> hole. So you guys are gonna have to take your pokey tool and you're gonna have to go poke, 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 and Kelly won't come over and help you right now because she's helping me. I was me. just going to say that. I wish there were 30 of me too. Don't worry. Yep. <laughs> so Kelly's going to work on poking out all of my little pokey things uh, <laughs> while I get to stamping. So you guys have in your piece a, pee, um, a piece of white. It's not as skinny and long as mine. Yours is actually a little bit shorter and taller. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to stamp your dragonfly. So when you guys look at your dragonflies, where's the, can you grab that one? Mm -hmm. There's two dragonflies that come in the set and they look similar, but they're different. Um, one has a more hollow body and one has a darker body. The wings are kind of, these are going that way and this one's going more this way. So in this one, I used this darker bodied one for this one. Okay. And then we need Blackberry Bliss ink. And we maybe use Mossy Meadow on the inside. Let's have a look. Nope, just Blackberry Bliss is on this one. Okay, so Curvy though. Curvy is in the mini catalog and it's called Quite Curvy. I'm not gonna say this out loud because I find that if I say this out loud, I sing the song for a week in my head <laughs> and I just can't do it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not gonna say it out loud but thinking of you makes my day and wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So let's look at these. So this is a photopolymer stamp set and you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't fit there exactly. The curve goes the wrong way. Like it curves this way good, but then that side goes the wrong way. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So all of these, the, the, that one right there is the one that fit there perfectly. So that's why I did that for the sample. But how you're gonna do, thank you so much, okay. So how you're gonna do that is your, eh, that piece right there, I need this one. Okay, so how you're gonna do this is you're gonna make yourself a template with these two and set it so you know where to stamp. So I did not cut this so that it, I mean, it's a waste. All you're really doing is putting a border down here so you don't care about this up here. So uh, that's why the Blackberry Bliss is a little bit shorter and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here and adhere this so that just a little bit of Blackberry Bliss is coming out. Now, because I die cut them at the same time, your curve should be pretty good. 
So what you're going to do then is some of you might have a little, okay, so this was all me. I die cut everybody's and I posted a picture of these on Facebook the other day. Um, I die cut all these and I tried to make them as consistent as possible. But what I would recommend you do is hold this up and see once where you're at and then figure out what you want for a sentiment. Now you might decide you don't even want a sentiment and that would be okay. You could just leave it blank down there and put some extra ladybugs. But I want to make sure that my sentiment's going to fit here. And if it doesn't, like let's say I cut your piece a little bit taller. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then what you might have to do is trim this top part off a little bit. So if that's the case, you could do something like this where you hold it like this and use your scissors and trim off a hair or go to your paper trimmers and just slice off a hair. But what I'm going to do is probably go with mine because I think that's going to fit there. Now you're wondering though, if you have the curvy, what you're going to do. These are photopolymer, so you can take this and you can adjust it how you want it. So now, oh, and it moved. You have to be very careful. If it, it, if it doesn't get pushed down really good, um, it'll just go right back because it's going to want to gradually take its sh shape back. So something like that could work for me. And there it just moved back. So you got a fast business here, you guys. You got to make fast order of this. So I'm going to grab my piercing mat, get this prepped, use it as a guide, open this up, <laughs> and we're going to do some fast stamping. <laughs> All right. And we're going to get this guy to tuck up there. Just like that. Now you go really fast. <laughs> as fast as fast can be before it moves on you. Just like that. So, so it's the photopolymer stamp. So I pulled out my piercing mat. And there it is. So now you have the curve with that. <laughs> okay. It didn't like it because it really didn't want to go that way. But I wanted it to. So it's not going to stay like that forever. So, um... It'll, it'll take its shape and naturally go back the way it was. So there's that. And then on our inside, I have this piece of white and I have a dragonfly. So as long as I have my ink out, I'm going to stamp my dragonfly on the inside. What does that say? Thinking of you makes my day. Okay. So we're going to leave it blank. So then whoever gets this card for winning can stamp a different sentiment on the inside if they so choose. Okay. I'm done with that. Now, for you guys, for your, what you're going to want to do for on the piece of white that I gave you, which white piece is the outside, the smaller or the larger? So you should, Stacy, it should all layer. The bigger white piece, the four by five and a quarter is your inside, and it's the same size as the green. So if you use that bigger white one, it will cover up all of the green. So you definitely want to use the smaller of that, the white mats to go on top of this one. So you guys, with your white, you have another piece of white about this big, and it worked better. Oh, I have the kits here. Do I have Con the Connie's kits? Where yeah, are they? I them here. Oh, perfect. Okay. So you guys, let me just show you. I don't need this. Yeah. I'll show you guys the size of paper that you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in your kit, you have a piece of, oh, <laughs> I don't have one in here. Oh, I gotta, okay. yeah. So you have a piece of white. And it works good to stamp one dragonfly with its butt on one corner and then go Kitty Wonka like that way and put the other dragonfly butt up in the other corner. And then that will help you to get them punched out. So with the punch, this is what it looks like. So if you guys don't have the punch, you can definitely fussy cut it. Uh, so what I did is I did two of them. You're probably, because here you can't see this, but I did, I have two. I have, so when you, it looks like its wings are fluttering in the wind. Now, in the last kit, though, you guys, if you guys don't have this dragonfly stamp, in that last kit, I gave you a big dragonfly. You could put that dragonfly on here instead of stamping a dragonfly. Okay, so that was what my that was my rationale with giving you guys a whole bunch of dragonflies on a piece of designer paper to cut out. <laughs> so here's one dragonfly. But I did two so that they would be cool looking together. So there's that. Now, with these dragonflies, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I had a really hard time with this set. This was the set that 
Don't ask me why, but it came with this <laughs> right here. It's cool, and it stamps, it stamps the wings right there, but it doesn't have a correlating one for the other side. And if you use it, it goes down versus up. So I had a really hard time using this because it didn't coordinate with the other side. So what I chose to do to color in my butter, my dragonfly's wings is you grab your Stella pen. And when you color over this dragonfly's wings with the Stella pen, it will color them in and it will shade them better than had you stamped one the right way and one upside down. <laughs> so... Did you see what just happened? By using your Stella pen, it totally dragged the color all over the place so that it colored it in very nicely. Okay, so you can, so Stella's making her grand appearance on this card with the dragonflies. <laughs> she can, I'm can, So Kelly's over here. I have all my new stuff. Oh, you guys saw my, and my pre-order came and I'm like, what is Kelly doing? Oh. She's rumma she's rummaging around in all the stuff over there, <laughs> looking at stuff. And I'm like, let's go. Like, I want to look and play with it too. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I so, designed three cards. No, just kidding. <laughs> you know, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to kind of curl my wings of my dragonfly like that. And it just makes them cool because <laughs> they're not flat. I like things to be popping off of cards. So. Then what you're going to do is pick whichever one you like better to go on the top. And you're just going to put a little bit of liquid glue. I probably wanted that one to be on my top, but now it's going to be on the bottom. So then this just goes right over the top of it. And they're just getting glued together on the body like that. Okay, so then your wings are going to be able to flutter in the wind. And then I'm going to use a couple dimensionals. So I'm prepping that one and just putting a couple dimensionals back there. So that's how our dragonflies are. Then our inside can get glued in to the card. And if you guys, you have linen thread and you have ribbon, you have the green. I contemplated where I would put ribbon on here. Um, you have such beautiful green mossy ribbon. I wondered if you could make one of these hairball nest things and have it underneath. I was thinking that in the twine. Yeah, with the twine. So we, we're going to see. We're going to see. I call this the big hairy mess. But so what we got over here is, oh, Feline said her pre-order came today. It's Ooh. fun stuff. Man. It's so fun getting that pre-order. So I'm going to pop this layer up with dimensionals. All random on the back of this. And then we're going to put that onto the white piece. Oop, get off of there, little guy. And, oh, I'm gonna put one more right there, just because I can. Okay, that's gonna go on our white piece. You have not quite an eighth of an inch. So get the one side lined up. And then once you have it where you want it, I think I'm gonna go up higher. Um, so Latokia, there's two pieces of white. There's one white that fits on the green, and there's one white that's for your inside. The white that's on the inside is bigger than the white that goes on the outside because these two pieces are the same size. So if you put this white one on top of the green one, it would completely cover up the green one, and you don't wanna do that. So what you want to do is the smaller one. You guys, I had them nestled in your kits in order from like inside to outside. So the white that is on, the, and that's probably not how you have your paper anymore, but the, the bigger one goes on the inside and the smaller one goes on the outside here. So I'm gonna put this up just a hair higher. So I have a little more wiggle room with my saying down there. Okay, I hope that helped. Um, I know that Stacy asked the same question, so hopefully you guys are set. But so I popped up this layer and now that's gonna get glued on to our green layer. And then the green layer, the mossy meadow, can get glued onto our card front. Okay, like that. And. On your sample card, did you just pop the bottom of the? Oh, good call, yeah. 
Not that it matters. Not that it matters, but Kelly just pointed out something that I didn't even realize I did. <laughs> so on my sample card, Kelly just said, did you just pop up the bottom and not the top? And that is true. I glued this flat here and I popped up. There it is. I popped up just this bottom ridge right here. And so it kind of gives this look of, you know, it looks like a wave. So it kind of pops up like that. So I didn't even catch that when I was putting this together right now. So I actually popped up this whole layer right here. So you guys saw I put dimensionals over the whole thing. And that looks cool too. It's really up to you. So we were talking about, well, can we put some thread on this card? Oh, this makes my heart pound fast. This is like a big hairy mess when I do stuff like this. But you could make yourself a little linen because you've got a whole spool of linen thread. I wrap it around my fingers. And what you could do is put that down and see what it looks like. And I don't know. I feel like my poor dragonfly got caught up in a big nest. Yeah, and it looks, it doesn't necessarily You can't add see it. Yep. The background so... Yeah, the background fun. is so busy. So you guys... You can do whatever you want. You have a lot of this to use. You can figure out how to, you can make a little bow on the back of his um, body here too. So figure out where you want to put your dragonfly. So like on this card where it was big, I actually put it over the top of the orange. There's a big orange one. <laughs> They're riding on each other's back. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that, but all of a sudden I'm like, huh, what are they doing? <laughs> and then over here, I put it on this side. So it just depends where what piece of paper you guys got. You got one that looks like this or this or that or that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So then what you can do is take off the birds and the, the, birds bees, and the bees and, and the, the dragonflies. And the dragonflies. Yep. So, yep. Saw lots of activity at my parents this week. And there will definitely be some baby kittens coming <laughs> soon. Oh, man. Okay. So that's where that guy is going to go. You guys remember our... <laughs> Our ladybugs are uh, are hungry, so they need to eat some dimension or some mini glue dots to fill up their belly. So flip him over and put the little bit of glue dot and get it off of your finger. And I'm gonna do two because it's really hungry because it got all balled up in like a little ball. Okay, so then that little guy's gonna go down here, and then we have some diamonds. All right. I put three diamonds in everybody's kit because I realized after the fact, I'm like, oh, I use diamonds on this card. Um, <laughs> so there is what I would use. Let's see here. Blackberry. I have a Blackberry Bliss blend. So, oh, it's in my apron, actually. Do you want to grab my apron? is hanging right there. Sounds good. I have it in my apron. Actually, I used Blackberry Bliss for mine. I didn't color anybody's um, rhinestones, but... Um, you can leave them completely clear and they look cool if they were clear. But if you do own an uh, alcohol marker like the Stampin' Blend or a Sharpie that's a dark purple, you could color your rhinestones. So this was also a Tip Tuesday that Kelly did many a moons ago. A long time ago in, when I was in my studio. In September, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So you can color your rhinestones. I do want to give you this to clean. There you go. Kelly wants to clean. Isn't that awesome? I have my Vanna White here helping me. Okay, so then you can take these and put them right. I put them right in the body here, the big part of its body. Just like that. And so it just bedazzles it. It adds a little bit of bling. There, you can see it. Cool beans. All right. Are you guys good? Did you catch up? Did, you, did I go? <laughs> did I go slow enough that you guys could could do this one with me? I mean, all you had to do is stamp a sentiment and do what you want on the inside. But for assembly, it really wasn't so crazy. I had your die cutting done for you already. And thinking of you makes my day. So we've got two done. Woohoo! Okay. So we're gonna rock and roll and move on to our next game. Our third game. Okay, so let's make some room here. Get rid of that. All right, let's bring our numbers back. All right, you guys, give me some thumbs ups and hearts if you're ready for game number three. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I see some hearts, yay. Okay. Oh, the last two are the coloring ones for our cards. Okay, you guys, we're gonna get ready for some numbers. 
All right, first number. We're going to do this one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it's our Oh Snap 25. Did you guys get this set? I'm curious. I never got this one. I don't know if I saw many samples come through with that one either. Number 25. All right. Oh, you guys, here's our seashells. Number three. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. <laughs> yeah, that should be stamps are like seashells. You collect them. Uh -huh, yeah, Kelly said stamps are like seashells. Mm -hmm. Angela's got an S. All right. Forever and always stamp set number 14. Forever and always number 14. Lila's got an S. Faye, Susan, Randy's got an S. Latokia's got an S. Woohoo. Here's our height. Dranja paper. S for Bobby. Pretty Perennials, number 16. No, I don't believe this one is carrying over to the annual catalog. No. No, In Bloom is, though. And I liked In Bloom better because I love stitching all over everything. Angela's got ST. Hi, Becky Wagner. Roxanne's got an S. All right. Brushed Bloom Sam set, number nine. Number nine. Wow, Faye. Did you see? Faye's got STA. Off to an early lead. Ellen's got ST already as well. Danny had the first game really close. She had the STA um, right away. And then, and then Ellen came from behind. Number 11, you guys. This one must be drawn to us tonight. The Dragonfly Garden stamp set. Number 11. Kay's got an S. Pat's got an S. Roxanne with the ST. Danny's got ST. Okay. All right. Here we are. You are amazing stamp set number 17. That's the one that has the matching kit. You are amazing 17. Latokia's got ST. Stacy's got an S. Lila, ST. Woohoo. Jean's got an S. All right, you guys, here's our chicken, chicken, our, our winner, winner, chicken dinner, number 23. 23. We're going to make some chicken cards. Linda's got ST. Sandy's got a purple heart with an S. Lila, STA. Let's pick this guy right here. Carrie's got S. Feline's got an S. All right, here's our friendly flamingos. Number four, friendly flamingos. I like this set a lot, you guys. I don't know if you got it. I know that it's on Linda's wish list. Roxanne, STA, very nice. Where do I have the, do I have that? Yes, I do right here. Okay, I pull this stamp set out a lot because it has a really nice sentiment right here that says, hoping your day is as amazing as you are. And then the happy birthday. So, oh, and by the way, the April monthly card class features the flamingo. Woohoo! So, and the seashells embossing folder in the background here. Okay, so I like my flamingo here. Mm -hmm. All right, Pat's got ST, Randy ST, Ellen's STA, Kathy Jackson has an S. All right, what do we got here? All right, our sweet strawberry, number eight. Sweet strawberry, number eight. Feline loves the flamingo too, she said. Yeah, it reminds me of my grandparents. They used to winter down in Florida back in the day. Yeah, you used to live in Florida. Yeah, I used to live in Florida too. <laughs> But I think I associate flamingos more with my grandparents because they decorated with the flamingo colors. I think of manatees when I think of manatees. Manatees, yeah, oh, yep, manatees. the manatees. All right, you guys, we got the kangaroos. Ooh, Lila. Lila came in with an S-T-A-M. Look at that. So Melanie's got S. Angela's got the S-T-A. A 19 for our kangaroo. Kay's got S-A, S-T-A. Leslie, S T. All right, let's do this little guy here. Kathy Jackson, STA. All right. The next number right here, you guys, we just used this. Quite curvy, number 18. Number 18, quite curvy. So we've got our 17, 18, 19 in a row. Oh, Faye's got STA. Can we get it? On the previous one. Oh, okay. Kay's got STA. Let's see if she comes through. I know Faye's got STA. I think Lila, I don't know if anybody got it. The last number I called was 18. Let's see here. 
Stacy has ST. Leslie's got STA. Anybody else? Okay. What we've got here, the next number is 24 in bloom. That's the one that we like. So real quick though, what does is, what is K have here? K, check your numbers, girlfriend. What is K? Read off oh, K's numbers. I have to go to a different page. K. That's okay. We got... We're just checking numbers because we think somebody might have it. And we're waiting to see once if they are confirming their numbers. Stacy's got STA. Jean's got STA. Feline's got ST. Latokia's got STA. M. <laughs> Latokia, I put, just saw you put Stan. Kathy Jackson's got STAM. No? You don't think so? Christy Warren. She has Stan. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Christy Warren has stamp. So Christy's numbers were three. Nope, seven wasn't called. So Christy, you put, she has stamp. I don't know if that means that K has okay. stamp. Yes, oh, K. K has three, eight. eight, 16, 19, and 23. They're watching sure each other's not. numbers. <laughs> so we were waiting for K to come through here and tell us that she had it. So that is a good stamp. So Christy thinks, so K, yep, here. So K has those numbers. Yep, Christy, you're a good, good sister. So checking these out. Oh, I'm going, now I'm going all over the board here. <laughs> so yay, you guys. Congratulations to Kay Warren. She's a lucky lady tonight. She had the five lucky numbers that were, oh, I just intersorted these all bad. Ha ha, not good. <laughs> So yes, it's true stamp. So Kay, you have to tell us what you want for your prize. What's left are the ink. I, mean, I thought the ink pads would go I first. So yes, lots of hearts and love for Kay. She won. Um, and so Kay, you have the blends, hand penned, or all the stamps and the inks. So we're going to do this guy next, which is the memories and more card one here. And so, um, so Kay, when you have a second, just tell us what you want for your prize and we'll make sure to set that aside for you. So you guys in your kits, let's pull out all your little pieces and see what you guys have. So this is what the card looks like mm -hmm. and you have a matching envelope and it's pretty. You don't have to stamp your envelope. Mm -hmm. And these are, so everybody who bought an extra thing like the stamp set. So I had, I think, Latokia, you bought the stamp set. Kay, you hand bought pen. the bundle. And um, so Kay picked the hand pen. Woohoo! We got so it down. down to the end we color. got it down, yep. Kay, you, you know, and Leslie, you bought the bundle. So a few of you gals also got the coordinating bundle or the stamp set. And I threw in a free gift for you guys. Um, you either got a set of five of these envelopes with note cards. So you got five of these, or I think if you bought the bundle, I threw in 10 of them. So you should have gotten some extra goodies in your bag. And that's why you got those is because you guys bought from me. And so I threw in some extra and, um, little gifts for me. So these are what we're using tonight. So these are memories and more note cards and envelopes. So this is a four by six and they came out with these to coordinate with this stuff. So these appeal to people who like memory keeping and so they fit these four by six cards really like so they this back here is full of patterns and decoration that match this dandy garden and you could put that onto the card base so they sell these as just plain white cards as well so what they did is they came out with these to kind of appeal to people that want to make cards and not necessarily do memory keeping so this was the last card that i designed and i had when I was done with it, I'm like, I hope it doesn't look like a Packer card because it's ah. green and gold. But it, to me, it doesn't. It actually looks very naturally naturey. So, all right. So in your kit, you guys will have this printed note card, which has all the little dandelions on it, and you have your envelope. Then you will have a piece of green um, to tell you a measurement. I know that you guys got the PDF tutorial with the measurements, but it's five by it's five and three quarter by two. 
So you'll have that piece, which will go here. Your DSP is two by five and three eighths, and that piece will go there. And then this little guy is a little bit smaller yet. It's five and by two, so five by two. And so you guys don't have yours stamped. Yours looks like this because I just gave you a white piece. Now the stamp though does come from the Dragonfly stamp set. So it's in the kit here. So it's got the this big cone flowers. That's what they are, cone flowers. So stamp that. You're gonna take your Mossy Meadow ink and you're gonna stamp that right on that white piece like that. And we're also gonna stamp it on the inside <laughs> and not upside down. So make sure you look at your card and open it up and then stamp. Yesterday I stamped one and I put it up here. <laughs> and it didn't work so good, but that's how it goes. So you're gonna, I always like to decorate the inside, so I would definitely put this. Now if you don't have the stamp set, put anything else on the inside. Now this barely fits on, this is a, an H block. It hangs over the edge, but that's okay. Cause we're not gonna stamp, we're gonna go over the edge anyways. So Kay, if your live feed is frozen again, shut down out of Facebook and then come back in. That might help. Okay, so we've got that on our inside. And Kelly's gonna be, oh, I wanna clean the stamp. Mm -hmm. So here you go. I'm not distracted by your pre-order this time. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so that's our inside. Now you guys also have this little piece here. That was a scrap. I never intended to use it. It was the extra piece from right here. So what happened was I took this little piece and I used it over here and everybody in class last night asked where that piece was. It's this piece and you just cut it down, okay? But it was basically, because this paper is six inches and this is five and a half, so this was your half inch scrap that almost went in the garbage. But when I was designing the card, I'm like, oh, it looks really pretty on there. So we're gonna keep it. All right, so then you also have in your kit some champagne foil dragonflies. I punched out two of them for you. Grab yourself a little ladybug. You're gonna need a piece of your mossy trim. And you have a piece of mossy paper cardstock here. And you have, this is from the Tasteful Labels dies that Kay just got today. Woohoo! And I stamped make good things grow all year long on mine. So that is also one of the sentiments that comes in this set. It's perfect. You could make it into a birthday card if you wanted. So happy birthday could go on the inside. So I've got mine stamped already. So we just get to put together and assemble this. Um, how I did the coloring. So Stampin' Up! sells colored pencils and they have two different assortments, a one and a two. And there's a couple different colors in here. Now this one looks like poo. This color right here, definitely not pretty, but it's supposed to be crushed curry. So crushed curry is a little bit of a darker yellow where the daffodil is a little bit of a lighter yellow. So I think I used daffodil on mine because it looked just a little bit brighter with the bumblebee. So there's also espresso in here and I colored the the centers of my cone flower in espresso. To me, these little leaves are way too little to even think about coloring, but you could definitely pull out your Stella pen and when you drag her all over the place, she will fill in all your little leaves and give them just a little bit of color. So just a different way that you can add a little bit of extra green to this card without having to use colored pencils. So Stampin' Up! does make the colored pencils. Um, if, if you wanted, you could use blends to color this as well. So I don't know which one goes in here. Oh, Deb Norman's joining us for five minutes. She's on break from on tour. So Deb, hope, we're, it's, going well. hope it's going well. Hopefully you're enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little bit of assembly. So these guys are glued down. So. Just put a little bit of liquid glue on those. You guys don't need to do any prep work for these because they're already cut to the right size. And we're gonna start with this one first. And that goes, I know I'm kind of off the bottom here, but we'll get it right back on here. Now we're gonna set him over there. I forgot to do the bone folder on this guy. So we're gonna do that and give it a nice crisp edge like that. Okay, and I've got glue on him ready to go. 
There is no top or bottom to the this one. These dandelions are going all over the place. And that just nestles right inside there. We're doing like a staggered step down approach here. And then the white here, we're just gonna put a few dimensionals. Not a few, we're actually probably, I'm gonna do eight just to make sure that it doesn't get sunken in the middle. Like that. Hi, Lynn Beasley. All right, so Deb, I cannot wait to chat with you about how you thought on tour was and what you learned and what you saw. It'll be super exciting. So this guy then is to the right and nestled inside the yellow. Okay, so now we've worked to this one. So Feline, you missed your on tour last night. And so it was really sad because they're not recording it. So you really do not get to see it, I guess. I was sad when they said that they weren't gonna record it. So this guy's gonna fit on here like that. So we're gonna just cut off about three quarters of an inch. So just take your paper snips and cut that. Don't cut it down the middle. If you cut it down the middle, then you'll have to center this. So you do wanna have it more. Um, so Robin, what on tour is? You guys are asking what on tour. It's a Stampin' Up! event, Sarah, you're right. So um, normally, pre-COVID, we would be able to meet in person. And we would either go to Chicago or Minneapolis, or we would go to Madison we've done, or Milwaukee. And we get together with other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And so this on tour is virtual. So I have mine on Saturday, so I'll be watching it on Saturday. It's a th like a three hour program. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> um, they're gonna be sharing stuff out of the new catalog, which goes live on May 4th. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I use glue on the stamp daisy or foam dots? I used dimensionals foam dots, Stacy. So on this right here, I used dimensionals. You can kind of see them there. I used dimensionals behind this white piece here. Yes, Feline, family comes first. You're right. All right, so now we've got this ready. We're going to flip it over, grab some tear and tape, and you're going to do your little tear and tape sandwich. And then we're gonna secure some of the mossy braided linen trim. So cut yourself maybe about four inches and that's just gonna get centered on the front here. Tuck your, your tail behind. And then you're gonna put a little bit more tear and tape right over the top. Let's make sure I got that straight. Yep, okay. And grab some more of this. Mm -hmm. And this time it is not, I'm not going to I'm not gonna take the waxy part off because I wanna use dimensionals somehow. I'm gonna sneak some dimensionals on here because this whole thing gets popped up. Now, I did a, did I just do a tip Tuesday on adhering ribbon? So what you can't put dimensionals over the waxy part because it won't stick. So I'm gonna try to sneak them in right next to it here. And so we're just gonna put a couple there. We're gonna put one there. I did last week Tuesday was a tip Tuesday on how to adhere ribbon to stuff. So, so this is my, you know, it's a good thing that nobody can see the back of that, right? It's a really janky piece on the top and the bottom. <laughs> exactly. Yep. This is messed up. <laughs> but when you put this card all together, you won't even see this. And I think I actually, so here's, I just realized this, this part is popped up one time. And so when I put this on here, it's popping up this one again which means I have to do a double stack on this side. So I'm gonna make sure I have my shorter piece on this side and on these right here, I'm doing a double stack. Tear and tape is on, oh yeah, so they're reformulating it, Angela. So it's not, um, it's not on sale or anything, but they're gonna, they have tear and tape in the new annual catalog, it's just, I don't know if it's a new vendor or a new format or what it is, but don't worry, there will be tear and tape going forward. So you guys saw what I did here. I double stacked this side so it's still even across. Otherwise it would have taken like this diagonal approach. Now, if you're not a fan of the popping up, you, <laughs> you might wanna stop there or not do the popping there. Um, I actually did, I did pop up this next one, but I think I'm not going to. I think there's a lot of popping going Never on. Enough. I would keep going higher, but I think for uh, for this one, I'm going to leave it at using tear and tape. <laughs> and we're going to call it a day. Uh, and I'm going to put three lines of it so that my 
because I have that ribbon there and that ribbon provides a little bit of height. So I wanna make sure that I get it all over here. So that's gonna go right there. Let's see what the back side looks like. So now because I put tear and tape right there, <laughs> I'm gonna have issues because if it gets squished down, it's going to it's gonna hit right there. So I'm gonna create a double stack, you guys. This is me and I'm being like, I, my popping up stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this guy right there. Now that won't go anywhere. And I'm gonna do the same thing up, up there, I think. So hang tight, I'm gonna just put another dimensional right there. Instead of doing the tear and tape, I should have thought of that. So this guy's gotta go right there. Okay. So that's what I've got. My label goes on there. Now, this is the, the my favorite part is this bow right here, guys. And I did not make my bow so I could show you how to make this bow. It is a triple bow. So there's not one, not two, but there's three bunny ears on each side. Wham, bam, thank you, mm -hmm. ma'am. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So you're gonna stake your loose end on the right and you're gonna go one, two, three times. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. So I've got three bunny ears on each side. Cross them over the top and under, and then tie your tails together. And then the main thing is that you bring your tails down and to the right and to the left, and then trim your end. And now you've really wasted no ribbon except for a little bit that you cut off. Pull the, your nails out. And then now you've got, whoa, you've got this awesome triple bunny ear bow. <laughs> we're gonna secure that on here with a glue dot. Now, this sentiment was perfect for this because this has got a lot of white space right down here and that bow covers that up so you don't cover up any of the words, which is super cool. So grab yourself. Now you're gonna need not just like one glue dot, but you're gonna use a few. So I'm gonna put two just because Make sure I secure it really good. Push it down and I pull my tails where I want them. Now, this guy's going all over the place and that's okay. Now, if your tails are going the opposite direction, you might wanna just put a little glue dot underneath it to hold it down. But we're gonna do like that. Trim your tail. Now, I don't do these at a, at a diagonal because you really can't see that. Now we have a couple little dragonflies here that we're gonna put on the card. And then we've got, we've got another ladybug that's hungry. So we're gonna put a glue dot in his belly. And he's gonna go right in there. What are you finding there, chocolate girl? Oh, yeah. hey. No, I found that a long time ago. I got Kit Kats in the hive, guys. So, yeah. It so, was Easter, I can tell. Yep, it was Easter, so there was some candy in the hive. So we're gonna put a little glue dot right in the middle. I don't like to glue the wings down of things because I like for them to be able to get folded up or like rolled up. So they look like they're fluttering in the wind. Okay, guys, I think that's it for card number three. I had the hardest time designing something with this background because I didn't know quite what to do with it. Well, and it's a unique size, which and sometimes is hard. It is, yeah. So it's what I came up with. So when you open it up, you could stamp a happy birthday sentiment in there. But there you go. I loved that triple bow on the bottom. Like that really filled it in. So, all right, you guys. Card number three, done, 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 done. Um, so Sarah's asking, what is the name of the stamp set? I have it right here, Sarah. It's called Dragonfly Garden, and it has a matching punch that punches out the dragonfly here, and then the baby one punches out the the DSP. The designer paper has some matching dragonflies. So It took a little bit for this bundle or sweet and all this stuff to grow on me, but I've I ordered it now. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, that's funny. Oh, I oh, did. She did, so Kelly got it. All right, so this will be a winner for somebody next week that is watching tonight that we've got this card. All right, we've got our fourth game here, guys. Right on. And then we've got one more card to do. Let's get this. I bet guys. the winner picks some in colors. Yes, you guys. 
Oh, I was so surprised that we have all these beautiful in color prizes left. Thanks for sharing, Arliss. I appreciate it. All right. Are you guys ready, ready? Winner, winner, winner. Here we go. What's one do we want first? Um, this guy. All right. Number nine. Brushed Bloom stamp set number nine. Let's see how many S's come through. All right. This girl needed some water. Whew. A lot of hot air coming out of me tonight. Mm -hmm. Number 19, Kangaroo and Company. He's fabulous. Every game he's gotten picked, I think. You love the kangaroos? I love the kangaroos. I'm naturally drawn to the kangaroos. Let's do this one. Number 20. Here's our Garden Wishes stamp set that goes along with this bundle that we're using tonight. Stacy's got an S. Danny's got an S. Jean's got an S. All right. Number 16, Pretty Perennials. Latokia's got an S. Number 16. Then we've got, oh, is that funny? The Sand and the Sea DSP is on the same side as the stamp set. How, what are the odds that that actually happened? Lila's got an S. Look at all these S's coming through. Linda's got an S. All right, so we're going to do this one right here. Number two. Number two, Feline's got an S. We've got sweet ice cream, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's watching. Okay, so Stacy, you've been watching for Bobby, and Bobby just is she she just got on. So I don't think you need to watch for Stacy uh, for Bobby anymore, Stacy. Thank you for doing that. All right, we have here number seven, lots of heart. We did a card in January that used the lots of heart stamp set. Ellen, Latokia, St. Danny's got her Sta. All right, we have Sweet Strawberry, number eight. Angela's got an S. Linda, S-T. All right, this guy, number 12, our Wrapped Bouquet. Number 12, Wrapped Bouquet. We'll put him right on the side there. I don't know if you guys can even, my numbers are really small. Jean's got an S-T, Linda, S-T, Stacy S-T. So we've got two, three, seven, eight, nine, 12, 16, 19, and 20. Oh, Bobby's only on for a minute or two. Okay, so Stacy, on that note, you just saw that Bobby's got to get up, back off. You could keep playing for Bobby. <laughs> Let the game. Let the game keep rolling. All right, you guys, here's our Woodland Wonder. Well, I think we called him on the first one. Stacy's got STA. All right, Woodland Wonder is number 21. Well, look at all these STAs. Ellen's got mm -hmm. STA. Linda's got STA. Kathy's got an S. All right, let's see what this one is. Number four, Friendly Flamingo. Number four. I'm sorry, you guys probably I didn't do that fast. I did that too fast. Number four, Friendly Flamingo. Susan's got ST. Quite curvy stamp set number 18. And we're 18s in the house. All right, Carrie Peterson's got an ST. And Bobby appreciates you helping, Stacy. Carrie Peterson, ST. All right, what else do we want to do here? Let's do this guy. Forever and always, number 14. Oh, Ellen's got S-T-A-M already. Wow. She's got some hot numbers, so you should pick these for... Oh, stacy has got S-T-A-M too. All right. Jean's got S-T-A. Number 17. You are amazing. All of you are amazing. Woohoo. All right, Mo, she got an S. You're not skunked. Woohoo! <laughs> Angela's got S T A M. Okay, you guys, we're getting some. Roxanne's got S T. Carolee's got S T. We're gonna do this guy number twenty-two. Our succulents number twenty-two. Oh, Lila's got S T A. Nice. Sandy's got an S. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to at least get a number? Carrie Peterson's got S-T-A-M. Moe's got the S-T. Feline's got S-T. You guys, we're got a lot of numbers up here. Mm -hmm. Are we getting... I'm getting close. Oh, here's our O snap. 25. Number 25. We've got number 25. Melanie's got S-T. All right. Have we got anybody? Getting there. Somebody's going to say it, maybe. Getting close. Do we have it? I'm going to give just a second here in case somebody's got it. 
Lila's got S-T-A-M. Ah, Angela, woo-hoo! Angela, tell us your numbers. I see a S-T-A-M-P. Robin was close. Angela, two, eight, 12, 14, and a 25. Angela is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Angela, girlfriend, I bet you're excited to get some in colors. I know you love blends, so I wonder, are you gonna pick blends or are you gonna pick ink pads? That's what inquiring minds wanna know. <laughs> Primarily well, this one. people had S-T-A-M. So what? Kelly said- It so was getting hot. hot. It was getting hot in here. Kelly said 12 people were waiting on one more number. Wow, you guys, that was a close one. <laughs> okay, so we have one more card to do and we blends. have one more game. Angela, I figured you would pick the blends. I, If I had to guess, you are loving the collection of blends so you can color. So congratulations, Angela, that's so exciting. So they're gonna be on my counter in the mudroom for you to pick up tomorrow Last, morning. Certainly <laughs> not least will be the pads. Yes, so whoever, that just surprises me. I, I guess, I think, I I don't know if I would have picked the ink pads first and all those reinkers. That is the highest dollar value because 40, 33 and 20 is $53. That was just right over the high. Yeah. So, well, we'll see who gets it. Okay. So congratulations, Angela. So excited for you. All right. We're on to the last card, you guys. So what is you, what, what is in your kit here? What do you have? <laughs> Yes, there's been no double bingos, exactly. Oh, oh no, one. Kathy Jackson won. Kathy Jackson was, uh, had, uh, she had gotten stamped after, she wrote it after Ellen, so there was a double bingo. So, so Angela, you got your first pick, that's awesome. Okay, you guys, there's a lot of stuff going on here, <laughs> like a lot, a lot of stuff. So, where do I have my card? Right here, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, there's got to be a name for this card. Um, side something other... <laughs> so it looks like this and Ooh. it's just a different li little um little bit yes kathy you have to win the stamp on the next one you got the consolation prize so kathy you won the you you were you didn't have the fastest fingers of the south i'm sorry you got uh the star designers as uh, a complimentary gift for being after ellen ellen got her prize so sorry so there's one more chance to win, you guys. Absolutely. We have one more. So Kathy, if your numbers get picked the next time, then you get the ink pads. <laughs> so this one, you guys, I don't know the name of it. Like it's a side panel something called peak a bit, peak a, peak a bit fold, peak a b. I can't read this. I bet she means peek -a -boo. Do you mean peekaboo? Ah, oh, you do. Ha ha. <laughs> I had to get really close to read that, Danny. So okay, what do you have? You have this piece right here. And I've already cut yours, guys, so I took all the fun away from you. But this is a hot dog style card, so it's 11 by 4 and a quarter. But I did not do mine. I purposely did not do mine so that I could show you how, oh, how to do it. So let me grab here. Oh, Kathy, I know you still want them. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I hope that you win them. I hope somebody somebody's going to win them. I, you know, I wish all of you guys could win. So let me show you how easy this is. All you do is you take your trimmer and you line it up at one inch. So I got it at one inch right there. And you want to make sure that you don't go past your score line. Don't use your scoring tool. And you're just going to cut this right to the score line. Okay? Now, you could slide this over and do it like this. That works. Or if you like a little bit more paper, you could flip it this way and go this way. <laughs> I like to flip it like that just because I like to hold the paper with my left hand and I cut with my right hand. Now, if you're a lefty, you could do it the other way, but either way, I don't flip my paper like this. When you use a cutter like this, it leaves a little bit of a ridge on the side. And so if you cut one like this and flip it over and cut one like this, you'll have them opposite. And you'll know what I mean when you do it, if you do it. But so if you're cutting, you always want to make sure you keep the same surface up. Okay, right, that was it. So now you have your panels like this. <laughs> okay, that's how I prepped your base. 
Now, you guys pay attention. You have two white pieces that are almost the same size. And I know you're gonna ask me which one is for which. Oh, Kathy, you got a trimmer coming. Awesome. Yay, that's great. Um, for these, you guys, the best way to determine what is what is just know that two of them are the same size. The one that white is the same size as the blue is the one that goes in the middle or like in the inside of your card. And that means that the other one fits on top of the white, uh, top of the misty moonlight. Okay, that's how you can figure that out. Then you have two pieces that look like this, which are for your side panels. You have two skinnier pieces of the designer paper that go on the sides like here and here. And then you also have in your kit I, um, I already punched yours. So just, I wanna show you how I did it. I didn't do mine so you could see. Now, this blue piece is one inch and the white piece is three quarter inch. And I don't know the name of this punch. Maybe Kelly will look oh, it up yeah, and tell us. Kelly will look it up and tell us. But I love it because it puts a banner on one side and it puts an opposite banner. It's like the inverted banner. And how I set it up is that you nestle it right in the track like this. No, I think it's, does it go with the dog set maybe? Or it go, no, I made a dog card with it. <laughs> it, it. It's part of the bundle punches. So there's mm -hmm. punches that are bundles. No, go the, over oh, here it is. Is that, no, no, that's not it. Okay. Oh, is this from the holiday catalog? From holiday. Yeah, okay. So this is a holiday catalog carryover item, I, we think. So this white one then fits right in here too. And then you just punch that. I think, isn't it banner pick a punch? Yep, banner pick a punch. Okay, this is called Banner's Pick-A-Punch. It's carrying over to the annual catalog, and I love it. It makes an, a banner and then the opposite of a banner. <laughs> an innie and an outie. An innie and an outie, yep. So the, the, and the one page, the one piece was three-eighths inch longer. And when you did, I did that three-eighths inch longer, then your white piece fit very nicely inside the misty moonlight. So... All right, so I gotta do some stamping. <laughs> and I gotta do some stamping. And some stamping. Okay, so we got lots of stamping. But well, what we can do so that these guys get glued down, <laughs> I wanna glue. I'm feeling glue happy right now. But be careful, you never wanna glue something before you're ready <laughs> to do that. But these little strips, we can glue them down to get them out of the way. And that will help me mentally prepare for what I'm gonna stamp. <laughs> so I'm gonna stamp, thank you, for your kindness. And that's a stamp that also goes in the set. It's part of the Dragonfly Garden set. Wow, you, what, like when yeah, that happens. People are coming back in. Yeah, I wonder if that's because it drops out. So you, it's just really like, because mine kicks. So I don't know if it's sometimes. So what is the punch called again? Banners Pick a Punch. Banners Pick a Punch. And I got some glue on here somewhere. I can feel it. Okay. So. Oh, we can glue more yet. Hang on. Now we can glue these to the side panels. So just put a little glue on these right here. And then they go on your strips. So there is an up and a down. So the leaves are going up. So make sure you put them the right way on your card. And that goes here like that. Very, very skinny strips. There's not a lot of wiggle room. So same thing here, they go up. And that one will go right on the left side. Now it doesn't matter which one you put on the left and which one you put on the right. And then while we're gluing, we can glue the sides down. So a little bit of adhesive on your sides like this. And then when you bring them down, Make sure you line them up straight. They do have a little bit of wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you have you have to get something that you don't have. That's funny. <laughs> you know, I think that I missed that punch too right away, and it took seeing it on somebody's card. I'm like, what did they? And then I I saw it. And you, sometimes we miss things, but I love it. I use that one a bit. So, all right, that's all we're gonna do for now because we have to do some stamping. Mm -hmm. Can't go any further. So just remember the little, the smaller white piece goes on the blue. Now we need that green, that big tall foliage stamp. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do that in Mossy Meadow. 
Now, I am just going for it. I know my stamp is hanging over the edge here, but I did not want to get the next bigger block <laughs> because then I felt it would be too big. So I'm working with it. We're just going to, and it gets covered up anyway. So if you look at the card over here, the bottom gets covered up. So we're good. We're going to go with it. Be careful not to push too hard that you get a halo because I noticed on the back I got ink all over. So just don't squish too hard. All right, so Kelly's going to clean that. And that's it for that color. You guys, are you proud of me? I kept it to four colors mm -hmm. for all four of the cards. That's oh, it. Oh, and look how nice they look together. Yeah, aren't they pretty together? All of these, I love these colors. Okay, Misty Moonlight is next. And on our inside piece, what I did, let's see where I have it. I have an inside. I put a little dragonfly down on the bottom. I need one of the dragonfly stamps. Do you care which one? Nope, it doesn't matter which one. So we're gonna just grab one of these. Random now, selection. Misty Moonlight's a little dark. So if you go at first string, it's gonna be super dark. So I definitely stamped off. And then I put a little guy near the bottom. Now, if you don't like where you stamped it, <laughs> just flip it over and stamp it again. I had cut off part of his wing over here and I know it doesn't make a big difference, but I got it on that time. All right, then our sentiment is Ooh, next. He's a, juicy. he's a juicy pad. Yes, this Misty Moonlight is a juicy pad. So, oh, this one's a hard one to stamp because it says this, thank you for your kindness and it's got a fit in here and you got to save room for a little ladybug and yeah, you get two chances. So what I would do is whatever you use for your sentiment practice, and then go for it. And just know that you get to flip it over if you don't like it, just like I did on the other one. What is Linda saying? This is not good. I have Stampin' Upside open <laughs> as you're doing these cards. Oh my gosh, Linda's adding to her wish list. I love it. Okay, so I'm crooked, so I'm gonna not flip it over. Bad. Not just bad, a little bit. so it depends which side I like better. That's what I'm gonna go with, but Oh, oh, halo. It's straight and it's perfect, but I have a halo. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Okay. I have two options. I go... Well, I have three options. I keep them as is. Go with the crooked one. Or this is called something... It's called a sand eraser. <laughs> and it takes the ink off of your paper. Sometimes it does the trick. And sometimes... It doesn't. So you have to be careful not to do too much. <laughs> Otherwise, it takes off the top of the paper and it leaves a little hole, but that's less noticeable than the color. Okay, bam. Do you see that? I got rid of Magic. it. Magic. Sand eraser. $3. Amazon. Okay, you gotta have these in your arsenal. I know Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them. So, but did you just see what happened there? The one that was straight, I got a halo. And now, <laughs> yes, Feline, I could have added gems. Yep, I could have added gems. But we're, we worked at it and we made it happen. So now we're going to put, hopefully I glue the right side. <laughs> Otherwise it wasn't meant to be. And then it wasn't meant to be. Well, so that guy's going to go right on here. Leave that sit for a second. It's a little crooked. Is it crooked? I think so. Yeah, bring, yeah, there. there we go. But then the top, I think my blue is bigger on oh. one side than the other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, that happens. It's not, it's, it's handmade from the heart, not perfect. You want perfect, you go by Hallmark. But you don't want perfect. But you don't want perfect. <laughs> you want handmade from the heart. All right, that guy, he nestles right in the middle there. Not much room, guys. He goes there. Oh. And then we gotta do a little coloring. So we need... Yeah, Kelly's watching the comments. I need the colored pencil, por favor. All right, so we need to get... Yes, Danny, sand eraser. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sand like the sandbox. Yep, like the sand... Oh, we got to go back in here. Hang on. <laughs> you guys, we got... Yeah, sand eraser like the sand box. It's called a sand... I know you can't read that, but it says sand eraser by Tombo. There's a dragonfly! Haha. Ha. And Tombo's who makes it. Look at that. Blue. There's a dragonfly on there. 
It was meant to be. And Tambo is what? Who makes your liquid glue, right? Um, yep, the Tambo is Tambo with the little dragonfly. Yeah. Yay. Okay. All right, let's get our little cone flowers colored in. I should have you find daffodil in here. Okay. Daffodil. And maybe daffodils in this one. Oh, she found it. Perfect. Here you go. And then, so you guys, I used to sell Mary Kay. And Mary Kay used to... I have a pencil eraser that is 20 years old, and it's hmm. in my toolbox. And that pencil eraser, it was for a lip pencil or something. It works perfect with sharpening your pencils. So if you have colored pencils in your arsenal, you want to make sure you have a pencil sharpener to, to sharpen. The treasured, I can't read what Feline just said. It said something about the treasured medallion punch. Lori is, held the same thing, I think. I don't know what it said though. I didn't. I'm feeling you. Okay. Oh, treasure medallion stamp set and treasure tag punk punch. Thirty eight fifty on sale. Yes. Okay. So now we've got this. Can get glued onto here. Right. Two pack five. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly it. I buy the five pack. Yep. And then I have them here for customers. Oh, if anybody's needing. A sand eraser. I do have three of them in my possession that are for sale. Um, just talk to me afterwards in case you're getting some kits with me. I could always throw one in if you want to PayPal me. So otherwise, if you have Amazon, Amazon works too. This goes on here. I don't think I did my bone folder action right there. So let's do that. Then this gets glued. Let's get this piece out of the way. Doity. And then little glue here now you guys this is the the part that you're wondering about is how do we put that label on because mm -hmm. it hangs over the edge and it's got the ribbon behind it so this so I I would never leave this like this because I feel like the flowers are growing out of space mm -hmm. they're not grounded and so by putting the label here it grounds the flowers to me to make them look like they're coming out of something. So um, how I did this label is there's a piece of this, the mossy metal trim, and I've got it as a loop on this side, and I've got it as tails on this side. So what I would do, I think it's about 10 inches or what, maybe eight inches. So if you're cutting what you need, just make sure you leave yourself a little loop on that side and then tails on the other. So I would grab my tear and tape and Put some tear and tape along the back here. Oh, Sarah, I get them off of Amazon and I just keep them in stock for my in-person customers so that they don't have to go shopping for them. I just do it as a convenience. Like, I get them off of Amazon too and I just sell them <coughs> in my, my little basket. I just make it as a convenience. And so you're fine. If people want to go on Amazon and get them and have them shipped directly to them, go for it, guys. Um, but if anybody's getting a package with me in the near future and they want a sand eraser, you can reach out to me afterwards. I, I don't make anything. I just basically sell them for what I get them for. So that's no problem, Sarah. No worries. No, no, nothing wrong with saying where you got them from. So You also get your adhesive eraser from yes, Amazon too. Yes, right? I also get these off of Amazon too. You can get these at the dollar store, but these get your adhesive off of places that it shouldn't be. <laughs> All right, so I got my tear and tape on here. And so what I'm going to do is loop that back here so a little bit is hanging out the end there that might be even too much so i'm going to pull a little bit more of it so it's a little shorter like that and then i'm going to cross them in the middle and i've got just enough hanging on that one side i'll wait to trim them until the end but so you got that like that so you got to be careful now because you don't want to put adhesive over the edge here and tear and tape was probably going to be your best bet if you use more dimensionals behind here, if you're going to do dimensionals, what I would do is create a little track so that you're not putting it over the top of the ribbon here. Yeah, the adhesive erasers save you a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating a little track here, and I want to make sure my track isn't bigger than... I'm going to actually trim it down a hair because I don't want it bigger than or longer than this. So I'm going to center it right in the middle here. 
And then this other one is going to go on the other side. So I don't like to put dimensionals over the top of the ribbon because it just makes it funny, like crooked like. So then this will go over the top of this. And if I'm lucky, I centered it good. Yep, so you don't see the, you don't see the dimensional back there. And then grab your scissors. You can trim the tails. And you have in your kit, you have a little gold dragonfly. He's out of gold foil. So you can put him in where you want him. Let's see where I have him on here. Just a little dot of liquid glue will work. And I like to put like the little dot right on my paper usually, and then I can stick my dragonfly to that. And we need a ladybug. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a ladybug in here, did I? I must not have. I did every other card I had a ladybug in, but <laughs> our ladybug's gotta go num 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 and eat a glue dot. You guys, I don't know where I got that in the beginning, but I went with it all night that this ladybug was hungry. Okay. And this little ladybug is going off to the side. Are we able to talk about the new trinkets that are coming in the new catalog? Are you asking or somebody else? I am. Oh, the bees? Yeah. Go get it. Okay. I was, Kelly, was, I didn't know if we could. We can show any. No, we can't um, show you inside the catalog, but we can show you guys products that are in the new catalog. And these are some cutesy bees, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at these little trinkets. They're little bees. And um, I had as one of the prizes last night for Lucky Hand was the pansy paper with the bees. And the person that won them was putting bees all over her oh, card. Good. It was Cheryl. So in that bee, oh, you guys can't even see that from way there, but the bee is adorable. And you guys know how much I love bees. Like my whole beehive is here. So there's bees, so excited. And so, and they're gold. Gotta get some gold to get that girl. All right. We did it, you guys. Let's bring all the cards in and show you what we made tonight so that you guys can recap. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of dragonfly action because of the bundle that I featured. So let's see here. We'll do a little... All right, what are our favorites? What are your, yep, what is the favorite? I know it's really hard to see that one, but what is the favorite? I don't know. At first, I thought this one was my favorite, but then I love the colors of this one. I love the misty moonlight with the, the mossy meadow. Yeah, everyone loves You guys the are bees. all loving the bees. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So, you guys know how much I love bees. So, oh, so good. So, which is your favorite card tonight? I don't know. There's so many good ones to choose from. They had a hard time picking last night, too. So, all right. So that was our dragonfly cards. The last card was the favorite. So that was this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you should do a recording of opening all the boxes of your products. Yeah, Angela, I thought about doing that, but I choose not to. I know some demonstrators do, but I choose not to because I'm still trying to focus on what's current product right now. And if I show you guys too much new stuff, then you're not going to want what's current, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, the last card floats the boat, Lynn says. Hard to choose a favorite. Oh, yeah. That one's cool. So, you guys, there's so much you could do with this one. Like, just think of just cutting the sides like that. You could do that horizontally, too. And you could do, like, two fingers up on the side and then have it more of a horizontal card. So, all right. Brenda likes the dragonfly. Kathy um, thank you is my favorite, which is that one. Yeah, very cool. I know, right, Luann? Who knew you'd like dandelions so much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these four cards will go to four different people, and I'll announce that next week. When we're live next week, we're going to be making, I showed you some of these cards. Next week, Thursday, are these three cards. I still am, I have kits for these. Um, this one, you guys, I know it's hard to see this, but it's, so pretty in person and it's actually a fun fold as well so it's an easel card that goes like this and you don't always see that from the picture in this picture the foil was really hard to photograph because of how shiny it is you can see the like that's kind of like how it looked in the photograph so just know if anybody's still interested in doing this class next week thursday i have sets available that i could mail out 
and get them to you in time yet because the mail has been doing amazing. Mm -hmm. The mail has been getting to people in two days, one day, three days. So let's put those over there and we're going to play one more game here. You guys, I saved the best one for last, it sounds like. All right, guys and girls, we have here one more game, and I've got stuff all over the table here from the sand eraser. You guys can't see it, but I feel grains all over. All right, first number, this one right here. Number three, the seashells. Oh, my gosh. That was the one that, uh, how many people have that? So many people a have, lot. a lot of people <laughs> have three. So let's get that one out of the way right away. All right. Number, oh, I still have sand all over the place, you guys. All right. This one is number 17. Number 17. There it is. You are amazing. Stamp set goes with the kit. Oh, you guys, here's our kangaroo. He had to make one final cameo appearance. He's just like hopping by to say hi. Okay, Deanne, Latokia, Ellen, all have us. Yes, the mail has been amazing. It's crazy. I just, they're, they must be caught up or something. All right, Kathy's got an S. Linda's got S. Jean's got S. Stacy's got an S for Bobby. Feline's got an S. All right, you guys, number 10 is the next number. Sandy's got an S. Wow, the pizzas had dry ice on them all the way to Arizona. Melanie, that's awesome. Linda's got S. Latokia's got S T. All right, here's our winner, winner, chicken dinner, number 23. Number 23. So stay tuned for the next game night. Is June what? June, I have it written down. Mm, June 17th. Next game night is June 17th. <laughs> it seems like so far away, but it'll be here before we know it. Faye's got STA. All right, you guys, Hydrangea Haven. We talked about that briefly. So after next week's class on the 15th, on the 22nd, we have the Hydrangea class. We'll be doing these four beauties right here. So that's the 22nd. I made eight more kits. I was going to be at 60, you guys, but I did 68. So I got eight more spots to fill. <laughs> Springtime joy. And there's plenty of time on that one because that one's not for two weeks. All right, Roxanne's got ST, Deanne's ST, Sarah's an S, Susan's an S, Tammy and Randy ST. Springtime Joy number six was the next one. I want to congratulate a couple winners too. Um, I did a top sales drawing for the month of March and I had three lucky ladies win prizes. Um, so Kay Warren and Linda Hodge both won half off items. And Linda picked the hydrangea set. I think this might be a first. Number five, art gallery stamp yes. set. Number five, it's there. Feline's got ST. So Linda picked the hydrangea haven stamp set bundle at half off. And Kay Warren also won a half off item with me. And she picked tasteful textiles or tasteful touches. Number five, art gallery. Um, Barbarco, she was a winner, winner chicken dinner too. Um, just as long as I'm pulling numbers here, I'll show you guys what Barb won. Number 12, the wrapped bouquet stamp set. So Barb Barco also won a prize for tops in my orders last month. So Barb, I'm going to be sending you the sweet sampler stamp set. So congratulations, Barb. You were the winner of that stamp set. Appreciate all your orders, guys. The month of March was amazing. I, wow, the quarter was amazing. Number four, the Friendly Flamingo. Stand tall on one leg and you'll do good. Just like the Flamingo, right? <laughs> Jean's got STA. Deanne's got STA. Stacy's got an S. All right, Linda, ST. So you guys are amazing. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I never thought I'd get the, the, you guys, the, the sales and the classes. You guys, I summed up 697 kit, like sets of kits since January 1st. Mm. Um, crazy. So <laughs> no, I shouldn't even say sets like P like an attendance. So like, let's say I have tonight oh was 31. So, so not 697 since January. That's how many classes I've had and how many people have attended. It's crazy. That's three months. 
So sweet ice cream is number two. Did number you get two. your goal for March, we are being asked. Yes, the goal for March. It, yeah, Sarah. I um, Linda Hodge was the gal. She was waiting in the wings, and so was um, Tammy Steckling. They both said to me, what do you need for orders? And Tammy ordered in the morning, and Linda waited till the night, and she, Linda put me over the top. But the two of them together on that last day on the 31st were my amazing saviors for getting me over the, the that last little bit. So I ended $20 over. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Number 14. Number 14, forever and always stamp set. Kathy King was the amazing team member who put the team over a goal that I never thought I have. So Kathy King helped. I, ugh, it's just crazy. So she put an order in the last two days of the month too and has set a team goal that I never thought I even wouldn't ever have or meet. So you guys are helping me rock the stamping thing. <laughs> Number eight, sweet strawberry stamp set. Oh, Roxanne, she's got an S-T-A-M. I think that's the closest so far. We got number eight. Carolee did not get skunked. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. And your mo Sarah, your mom helped with an order. Angela's got S T A M again. Lila's got S T. Melanie's got S T A M. Mm -hmm. Moe's got S T. Wow, Faye's got S T A M. We got lots. All right, number seven. Oh, that's a oh, big one. you guys, fastest fingers here. Whoever has stamp first, number seven. We didn't get it. Oh man, a lot of you guys, when I first was looking at the numbers, I thought number seven was the number that had the most people pick it. So number seven, let's take the ice cream paper. I don't know what here. Sarah's got S-T-A-M. Okay, you guys, here's number 21. Number 21, Woodland Wonder. Linda's got S-T-A-M. Stacy's got S-T. And we still are going for the next one. Okay, so that was number 21. Let's take the floating and fluttering. Oh, it's actually Ride the Range, haha. But that's floating and fluttering. Okay, we've got the quite curvy stamp set number 18. Oh, Susan's got S-T-A-M. Number 18, quite curvy. What does Christy have here? Love the, the last card best. Okay, I saw that, Christy. All right, so we're still doing okay here? I think so. Okay, it's getting close. It's getting so close. You guys, it's getting close. You see how many people have STAM? Number nine. Number nine. Not a lot of people had number nine. I wonder if it was enough to make somebody get it. Who's got stamped? You're gonna have to tell me. Whoever writes it first is the winner of the inks. Number nine. Number nine. Oh, Roxanne and Jean. Okay, so Jean. Jean and Roxanne. Jean, I saw yours first. Roxanne, yours came in right after. So we got to go with Jean. All right, so Jean's got five, nine, ten, twelve, and eighteen. Roxanne's got five, nine, 10, 14, and 23. Two good bingos. Yes, so Roxanne and Jean. So, but Jean, Jean's came through first, guys. And what we said is whoever has the fastest fingers. So Jean's the winner of the inks and the stamps, which we have there. And four, I have a runner up prize here for Roxanne. You get the copper stars, girlfriend. Woohoo! So we have two winners, you guys. So that number three and that number seven. Mm -hmm. So many people picked those numbers. And so woohoo, you guys. So congratulations. Oh, let's see here. Hang on, you guys. I'm going to flip this down. Luann says that I missed Roxanne's first. So I see Susan with the S-T-A-M, Jean, S-T-A-M. And then I see Jean with a stamp, and then I see Roxanne with a stamp. Did I not see that accurately, guys? So if you guys see something different, I'm more than happy making it right, but 
I see Jean said it right before Roxanne, and that was the order that it came in. So I'm not, and then Jean had her numbers, and then Roxanne had her numbers. So um, I know that Luann, you said that Jean didn't do it first, but I saw, I saw, I know you guys can confirm it or not, but I am pretty sure that I saw Roxanne after Jean in both saying stamp and with the numbers. So Robin said that Jean was first. That came in, yep. It was really close, it though, was. you guys. Oh, it's really close. And I wish I had, like, two awesome prizes. I mean, I'm not saying that star or stars aren't good, but that's why I do consolation prizes so that we don't want anybody, we don't want anybody sad. sad. So I, I, so that's how it goes. So Anne said Jean first. Jean said Jean first also. So I feel good now that I've got confirmation from other peeps that Jean's came in first. So... Roxanne, it was second, and Kathy also got second, and that happens, guys. Um, I don't have two sets of prizes to give away, so that's why I did the, the Star Designer Elements, because they're so pretty, so, so close, I know, so close. Okay, but we're not done giving away prizes yet, so I do have some door prizes I wanna give away, and the door prizes are for people who filled out the door prize form. Yep. Leslie, I went with what I saw on the screen. So, yep, you guys all saw the same thing that I saw. So I don't know if, how Luann saw hers after, but that's, I saw, I, a lot of people saw Jean first. So that's what we're going with. Okay, so I had how many people, Kelly? Oh, just wait. Let's see here. Dun, da, da, da. Yep, so Sarah said that you see, yeah, so... I think we're good. Everybody that has told me they've seen jeans first, except for one person. So I think oh, okay. so we have I think we're good. So you guys, 26. we had how many? 26. We had 26 people fill out for the door prize form. And the door prize form was for everybody. Um, it was a Google Drive or a Google document. And um, Christy Warrens just said that she wasn't able to fill it out because it wouldn't let her comment. So we'll put... Christy as number 27. Can so we can add Christy to number 27. So um, thanks for that note, Christy. So we had 27 people that fill out. You didn't have to pay or participate in the games tonight with being able to win a prize for door, for the, uh, for a prize for the door, <laughs> for the door prize. So I have here some packs of the butterfly gems. And so we're going to give away two door prizes to, um, to two people that filled out the door prize. And so we are gonna do a random number generator. So let's get to the random number generator. We had 27 people. So Kelly's got the list. So as soon as I call off the number, Kelly's gonna say who won. Number 13. Unlucky number 13 is Jennifer Jones. Jennifer Jones! You are the lucky winner. So how I worked this, and I didn't mention this before, but if you are one of the five lucky ladies that already won a master prize and you get your name picked, we, we pass it on to the next person because you already got some awesome stuff. So, but Jennifer Jones, I know you were playing along for fun because you didn't register and I know that you were close, I think, on some numbers. So you won some butterfly gems. Awesome. So congratulations. Okay. Next number is number four. Kelly, who was number four? Kathy King. Kathy. Kathy King, woo, Kathy King. You are the lucky winner of the butterfly jumps. You also did not participate in the game night tonight, um, but you won, isn't that exciting? So Kathy King, I'm so excited for you, girl. Okay, so Kathy King was our second door prize winner. Now, I have three more sets of the these butterfly gems. They're underneath in here. Kelly, I, you wanna grab two yep. more? So I have three more sets of the butterfly gems, and so, those people that participated tonight that didn't win, uh, that, so that participated and paid tonight that didn't win, well, I'm giving away three more prizes. They're on the top drawer here. This one? Nope. This one? Yep. Oh, I was looking in the drawer. There. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Just two. Because we had, um, so we, so if you're, so how, yeah, so we got numbers next to some, everybody. So if anybody that already won something wins again, then we'll call another number. So that's how that works. So, All right. so we should have 31, I think, is how it was, 31. No, you're looking at the wrong yep, form. Yeah, Excel spreadsheet. Okay, mm -hmm. hey. All right, 31, right? 31. Yep, perfect, okay. Oh, I'll flip down so you guys can see. So, just wait, can you make it 32? And if it's one, it's the header. 
because otherwise I'm going to have to subtract. But I have numbers in the column C. Column C. Column uh -huh, C. You guys saw. So generate number 12. Number 12. Wow. Sandy. 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 Sandy Wicklander. You were the 12th person to sign up for game night, and number 12 was just drawn. So Sandy, you will be getting some butterfly gems Sweet. in with your hydrangea cards next week. Okay, so we're going to flip down. Number 20. 2020 is, who do we? Linda Bendick. Linda Bendick. You are lucky number 20. You were the 20th person to sign up tonight for game night. So you also are going to be getting some butterfly gems. Woohoo. All right. And last but not least, oh, it went one number to number 21. Carolee Crab. Carolee Crab. Carolee, you won some butterfly gems. Woohoo! Okay, there you go. So look at that. The three people that won door prizes were not the original five that won two. So that's awesome. So, so basically we had five plus three plus two is 10 people. So 10 people out of 31 people got prizes. So that's a third of the people. So I think that's pretty good. I hope you guys are happy. And everyone's a big winner with the beautiful cup. Everybody, yes, everybody's got four beautiful cards too. Lots of hearts coming through. So, so how the next, so Sarah, Sarah just asked about the next sign up for June. So how the, I'm working on it. So, <laughs> so what I worked on recently is the strawberry, the sweet strawberry cards are for ink, paper, scissors. They're the next, um, thing that I was needing to design for. And I'm gonna introduce those cards to you tomorrow. We are live tomorrow at five central to do the Butterfly Brilliance uh, ink, paper, scissors class. And at the end of that class, I'm gonna show you the strawberry cards that are gonna be for May. And after that, I'm gonna work on Well Suited. I didn't get to them last week. And I'm gonna work on the May. So Sarah's asking about June class. So my ultimate goal is to get the chicken cards done within the next two weeks. And as soon as I know what is all included with the chicken cards, so like what your goodie bag will be, I can get it published. And so I'm thinking that within the next two to two and a half weeks, I'll have that ready for you guys to sign up. So yes, yes. You know, so Sandy said, everyone that watches Christine wins. You're so sweet, Sandy. Thank you. I love all the purple hearts you give me. Mm. <laughs> so, so yeah, so the... The next game night, watch for it. You guys, it'll be in emails. It'll be on Facebook. It'll be all over the place like I normally do. So you shouldn't miss it. And I'm going to be going to Hawaii for the instant of trip in May. And all I'm going to ask is you guys to sign up for things as soon as you can. Because during May 15th to June 1st, I'm going to be traveling. And it's going to be really hard to take reservations and stuff. I'm still going to do it. But I'll make Tyler happier if I don't do so much of it. So as soon as I get my May and June cards published, if you guys could sign up for stuff right away, that would be awesome. I would love it a lot. So, um, okay, I'm not done giving away cards, though, because I have two classes that we had recently. So I have seven cards, or what, eight, seven cards that I want to tell you who the winners are. So I'm going to flip the camera down. So I had the art floral class on May, nope, April 1st last week. So I have some winners for you guys. Um, the first card here is a happy birthday card. So drum roll brrr, is going to Linda Hindi or Hind. Hind. I think it's Hind. H-I-N-D-E. Linda Hind. Uh, you were watching last week and your name was drawn for that card. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Brrr, drum roll. I just want to say thank you to Angie Liner. She is the lucky winner for the I Just Want to Say card class, or card. Oh, Luann, you may have some Christine withdrawals, but there won't be card making withdrawals because you're gonna have a guest crafter. Yes. So <laughs> we'll still have our Thursdays. Yep. So featuring Kelly. <gasps> yep. So the third, the two Thursdays that I'm gone, Kelly's gonna be doing a mystery card night for you guys to keep mystery card night alive um, for that month. And then the following Thursday, she's going to do paper pumpkin with you guys. So the two Thursdays that I'm gone, we're going to be live or Kelly's going to be mm -hmm. live and I can sit back and watch her. <laughs> so that'll be yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Next one here. Oh, my favorite card. Oh, both of these. I love these two a lot. I just love the colors. So drum roll. Brrr. Julie Beerschbach. Your name was drawn for this card. Congratulations, girlfriend. 
And then winner, winner, chicken dinner, um, Jocelyn Zimmerman. You are the lucky winner of this pretty peacock card. So Jocelyn Zimmerman. All right, next one is da -da -da, the kangaroo um, and company class was the stamp Stampariatus class this past Monday. So the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at everybody saying woo oh, for Kelly. <laughs> All right, Lori Helgeson. Lori Helgeson, you are the lucky winner there. All right, drum roll. Brrr. Okay, oh, I love this one. So these are the cards that Kelly and I designed together, and she did a demonstration at the Winter Creative Escape. Latokia Trig, you're the lucky winner of this beauty. So yay. Oh, you get to stamp your inside. <laughs> it's going out just like this. All right, and the last card is... Da -da -da -da. The best wishes little kangaroo so we made this originally as an easter card but i made oh, yeah, it right. to best wishes so it could be for a baby a new baby oh that would be cute i still have to add pearls oh i have to add the white rinds or the white oh, i gotta i gotta bedazzle these yet Oops. <laughs> judy bobo woohoo judy you are the lucky winner of this card so excited so these all these guys i don't have addresses for a few people I do for everybody but Jocelyn and Lori, I think. Otherwise, I think I'm set with addresses. So, Lori, yes. So, how the drawing works. So, congratulations, Lori. You'll have to send me your address. Email it to me, Facebook message it to me, private message, however. I need your address. I don't think I have it. So, what happens is when you guys watch me and you share my video, you comment, then it puts your name into the drawing and then their people's names get picked so yeah so I and I go by class so it's always good to at least comment throughout and then I all the cards that I always make in class are the ones that I give away so this week there'll be four cards that will be given away next week for the dragonfly so congratulations to all the winners and on top of it I was mentioning that Kay Warren and Linda Hodge were winners for sales during the month of March they both picked half off bundles to um in the last two days and or actually today <laughs> and barbarco won the sweet sampler stamp set so yes so lots of fun stuff i hope you guys had fun and i know that it's not always easy doing a game night virtually but we make it happen um it's nothing beats being in person but when we can be together virtually we still can interact and correspond and i can still show you cards and you know be creative and inspire and I really appreciate the fun love and light atmosphere you guys I, you know I was just talking to somebody else about this that this amazing community of stampers that we have is um, just amazing right mm -hmm. I would say we're we're awesome <laughs> all of you are awesome <laughs> we make it awesome and so the camaraderie and the friendships friendships that are being built are just amazing and I love when I see you guys interacting with each other and meeting people that you you used to live in a certain spot and now you are somewhere else but you connecting with people so that's what it's all about is connecting and bonds that are being formed so you guys are awesome so I appreciate you guys always being so lighthearted we work really Kelly and I mm -hmm. work super hard and take a lot of time out of our daily lives to make this fun and enjoyable for you and we always have everything like with you guys, our best interests in mind. And so we are, we are always trying to be good, like in thinking about things that will intentionally help you in a good way. So that's what we try for and fun. <laughs> Jean just said this was fun. F-U-N-N, -N, like Mary Gunn would say. So we always want you to have fun, be inspired, be crafty, be creative, use what you have. And when you need more, buy it. <laughs> need, want, who knows the difference, right? <laughs> so um, it's always fun creating with stuff that you enjoy creating with. So lots of love and hugs to you guys. Lots of sunshine and happiness to you guys throughout your days too. So, oh, do I have anything else? Kelly, look at my list. Um, I think we we did everything. We rocked it. I know we're a little bit over. I always try to get end game night in two and a half hours so Kelly can get home to her babies. <laughs> her, her, her mom is watching. The, no, nope. Hubs. Hubs is watching the babes tonight. So we gotta get Kelly home. So you guys, this is awesome. Thank you so much for being part of game night and we look forward to the next one. But on a shorter note, we'll see you tomorrow at 5 <laughs> p.m. Central for Ink, Paper, Scissors, the first edition. Very <laughs> fun. All right, bye guys.